Rabaja is. Rabaja S. Rabaja. Elephants, we broke out of the zoo. Rambaja is pure, Rambaja is true. Let's all get together and drink one pokey goo. With just two episodes remaining in 2013, how many more corporations can we piss off? How much more vomit can we induce? And how many more viewers can we turn away in disgust? This is John Ramble Presents The Show. My name is John, and I'm joined by the Planeteer with the power of pulp, OJ is among us. Oh man, you know, I was always there in every episode. So when I had to summon Captain Planet, they'd let me out of the box. I'd raise my ring. I'd be just so where they couldn't hear me. You'd just see one orange streak to the sky, and then we'd summon the mullet man. The final episode, you actually murdered Captain Planet. It was never yep. aired, but you, you covered him in so much pulp that he basically, it was all filled in his mouth, and, mm -hmm. and all of his orifices were full, and he just basically suffocated. And that was the end of the series. Yeah, Mati totally lost it. He was not happy with you. Oh, no, no, he just went crazy. This, this is how it goes, but, uh, you know, that was a good episode. OJ, this is a good episode of the show today as well. I think so. All kinds of good things happening. All kinds of good things. Put your seatbelts on. Strap them in. You're putting it on, aren't you? Yes. OJ, how was your Thanksgiving, sir? Pretty good. Pretty good? Mm-hmm. It was okay? Yeah, we went to visit my uh, parents in New York. Yeah, that's where I live. Yeah, I saw you over there. Yeah, we didn't. Uh, we didn't see I each didn't other. I didn't see though. you though. Yeah, we tried to. We tried to stay away from each other. But um, I saw your car parked. As people don't know, uh, OJ and I grew up next to each other, and um, OJ left, but I remain. I remain. <laughs> I remain there next to OJ's parents. So um, that's OJ was down there for Thanksgiving. I saw your car there, and I haven't seen your car there for a long time. And actually uh, reminded me of something that used to go oh, on no. many years back where uh, when I first got my license and I, and I was driving around, mm -hmm. for some reason, I don't know why I would do this, but I would just um, pull up in, fr in front of your house. And maybe you remember this? I would pull up in front of your house and just lay into the horn yeah, for a good five minutes or so. And then, or at least until I reached the outside. And then someone would start opening the door and then I would just b take off. And I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why this was happened. Do you, do you have an explanation for this? I don't know. You just wanted to do something crazy, I guess. I mean, nobody ever really yelled at you for it that I know of, even though I may have thought, oh, gosh, I'm coming. Just let me tie my shoes. Stop I, it. I did it out of love. I, was, I, wanted to get your, I want your attention because I like you so much. I think you're a cool guy, and I want you to you know, think I'm cool too and stuff. And I just want OG's attention all the time. That's what it's all There's about. There's easier ways to get my attention. You could no, get like, no, a that's spotlight ridiculous. mounted to the car. You could, I don't know, throw styrofoam baseballs at the wall at something. Yeah, yeah. That's something that happened. It reminded me of that, though, on Thanksgiving Day. <laughs> so there you go. Did you do the Black Friday thing at all? or? Nope. Nothing didn't do anything. Did you hear anything about it? Like, did people go crazy? I didn't really yes. hear too much. They there did. were There were multiple fatalities this year. Multiple fatalities. Isn't that what always happened? Is it pretty much, pretty, pretty much common of the... It... I think once it happened once, it's been happening more and more frequently because people somehow think it's okay to be completely stupid and idiotic yeah. every 
Friday after Thanksgiving. How did people just go insane? Like they grab jousting equipment for sale and they start <laughs> wielding it, or what, what? They just no. Usually, one thing that happens is whoever has to go open the door at some of those big box stores, yeah. people will not be able to wait for him to finish opening the door. So they'll trample the, they'll push the door open and then trample the person who opened the door. They can't wait for the deals. No, you need they to have, have like to have an electrified deals. door or something. Or mm. now here's a really big. Now this is going to be take a lot of technology to to make happen. Yes. But what if they invented a door that opened automatically? So on Black Friday in the morning, they didn't have to send someone over there to unlock it. The door could just. Yeah, but it's be made of like adamantium because they'll just rip it from the hinges. They'll yeah, just take but, it, just rip it apart. The doors they have now are not made of adamantium. I did see one video where uh, I guess a major problem is like the workers are, are being endangered because they're at times they'll have to go and like fill the shelves, right? And the people just attack them. So uh, the video I saw, like this dude was, was pushing like this bin to refill something and the people seized him. They started pulling on him. His pants were pulled down to his ankles because they, they were pulling on his body. They destroyed the uh, the thing and ripped it apart. And like some people saw what it was and didn't want it, and they just threw it back. And they didn't even uh. know what was in it. They were just destroying. <laughs> no, there and the is... guy guy's pants ripped off. It's There's terrible. one Black Friday sale that I actually agree with. Okay, tell me about the, this. The fine folks who make the incredibly classy and completely politically correct game Cards Against Humanity had a Black Friday sale, um, or was it a Cyber Monday sale? I think it was Black Friday. Um, so on their website, you went there. It said. In honor of Black Friday, all Cards Against Humanity products are now $5 more expensive with the to purchase button reading only consume. That's not Black Friday. And their Friday. sales you, spiked. If you shop online, that's not Black Friday shopping. I don't Side respect, Cyber Monday usually, but either way, I don't respect they that. raised their prices because of Black Friday. I, I respect the people that show up. They got the crowbars. They got the weapons. And they go to town to try to get those uh, sweaters and those towels. That's real Black Friday. Well, yeah, I was going to ask you about. Uh, I was going to ask you about Cyber Monday. Were you cybering a lot with a lot of people? Doing some cybering on the the Cyber nope. Monday. No. Nope. There was a sale that I did. It was a uh, Comicsology. Oh and, uh, yeah, the ninety nine cent sale. Well, they had uh, five dollars for every DC graphic novel collection for five bucks. Oh, I would have killed so for I that. I didn't see that one. Yeah. I just saw that they had uh, some 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 comics on sale for a buck, and there were a few that I actually kind of wanted. They had like all the Jeff Johns Green Lantern yeah. stuff, yeah. and I was hoping there'd be some good comics about Hal Jordan in there, but I didn't bother buying Isn't it. Isn't it nice that we plug all these different things, and, and no one ever plugs us? Does Comicsology go to the show? Do they put that up on their page ever? No. Well, well, it's just the kind of people that we are. We're just good people that, that go out of our way to promote small businesses like Target and Walmart and things like that. Well, hey, if you want to talk about being good people and promoting stuff, um, Carl, also known as Uncle Yo, who is uh, um, playing Jeff in Schnauz Man and Hole Punch, the Justice Lease, he has an Indiegogo to fund a new um, uh, short play that uh, he's doing. Just in case anybody wants to support theater, that's uh, the link there. That is deleted for some reason because apparently as a moderator, I can't post anymore. All right, we'll, we'll hook him up with it later. Put on Twitter or something. What do you, you have that. Oh, yeah, derp. You do have that. I, I keep forget, forgetting about Twitter. I forget that you ex it exists for months at a time, but you do have it. It's weird. Yeah, it's uh, weird. I could post links sometimes, and I can't post links right. other times. Okay. I, I don't know okay. what's going on. Anyway, uh, last week was the Black Friday show. A lot of people were really into it. And uh, from the looks of it, it looks like uh, most of those people that showed up last week are now gone. Good. <laughs> Good riddance to them, right? Aw, dude. Who are these people anyway? <laughs> John, up here. that's mean. Maybe we don't they're busy need today. They're gone, and we're better off without them. It's kind of ah. like it's kind of like a ship, right? Like we're all on a ship. Okay, we're on a ship. And if you have like too much weight, the thing's gonna sink. Right. So you gotta throw some people over the, over the edge. I. And they have to drown and die, and that's what I'm happened. Not they drown. Sure, I agree with this. And analogy. now we can sail the ship to wherever we want to go. Everyone that's here today. So I thank you all for being here. We love you very much. Um. Last week was the Black Friday show. This week is the People Show. It's all about the people. And as you saw from the intro today, you watched it? Did you watch the intro? Yeah. Do you usually watch those when they're on or no? Yeah, I mute it and then turn the streams volume on. Yeah, what I did, I asked everyone on uh, on Twitter, actually, uh, to submit a uh, video, video of themselves. I was trying to make a montage, but I did it kind of late, and I didn't really get a lot. Some people did send them, like Slinky, some other people... If you did send it, thank you. I uh, thank you. I will use it for something in the future. But what I decided to do is just make a hardcore picture uh, thing. There, mm. we did. 
And uh, today's going to be all, all about the calls, all about the callers. And we want to maybe hear some, from some new folks. Yeah. We've never heard from before. Maybe we'll talk to some old friends as well. But I think we want to talk about, you know, there's only two shows left for, for 2013. We want to hear about, you know, uh, some high points of your year, maybe. Some things that you liked that went on this year that were good. Yeah. Or you I do of- just want to say before we get past the people thing. Yeah. We love new folks. We want to be friendly to everybody, or at least I do. Don't hate us. We love you. Sometimes you, sometimes you got to be hated. You know, it's, uh, it's the way it is. It's more important to be yourself than, any, than anything else. But anyway, um, yeah, we want to, we want to talk, to, talk to you about whatever you want to talk about. Uh, you got something going on. You want to plug your channel or uh, something you're into, or you want to ask a question of OJ, or you want to just insult us outright. Or you want OJ to ask you a question. John Rambo, you're a douche. That's perfectly fine. I would like to hear it. You know, it'd be nice. Uh, you want to ask OJ something? OJ can ask you questions. Who knows? Mm-hmm. Don't be afraid, though. He's not gonna. You're not gonna go too in, in, deep into things, right? Yeah. You are. <laughs> 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 one thing I want to mention about last week, we had uh, Kudo on from the Level One Game Store. Yeah. And uh, I kind of botched the interview up a little bit because uh, everyone's seen him before. I, I forgot to mention this. Yeah, I was wondering about that. You should have said something. Sometimes I screw up, John. You need to, you need to be, you need to be the wind beneath my wings that sometimes can lift me up when I'm faltering. Don't I don't know. Afraid. Sometimes, some, I don't know. Don't it's weird. Like, yeah, sometimes I, I, I can't tell when you do something on purpose or by accident. <laughs> I just think it's part of your master plan. Yeah, it's good that you trust me in that uh, that regard. It's, it's like everything mm, is part a, of your master plan. He's not mentioning something important on purpose. So I wonder why. No, he, uh, he was in uh, Schnauz Man Hole Punch episode five. He was the thief, uh, the plane trade thief that did, had a, a laugh. It was a hyena's laugh, actually, that I gave him. Um, but, uh, yeah, I was, I was happy that uh, he was on last week, and hopefully they had a good time on the Black Friday. We'll have to have him on again to talk about that. But, uh, yeah, today's about the calls. Next week, holiday special. I want to do something big with it. I know OJ, I don't know what your status is. He's in the middle of a move and all kinds of things going on. We'll try to figure it out, but what I want to do is I definitely want to get together and play some songs and stuff like oh, that. Oh, we'll play some songs. So people that got on the stream today a little bit early, I played some of the holiday songs. I was practicing them. They sounded really bad. So hopefully by next week I can get them together, and you can help me out maybe. <laughs> Harsh, so, man. And then we're done for the year after that, so, uh, you know, it's exciting. It's an exciting time. <laughs> Where we're going to be disappearing for several weeks in a row. Very exciting. Okay, you're I'm right. Scared that. You're yeah, scared. He's like, where am I gonna go? All right, let's go into the art, and then we'll uh, start doing some things that you might want to listen to. Right, John? Oh, many things you might want to listen to. Here's the first piece of art, Cyclops. He's in like Quake or something. I don't know. What is this? Oh, it looks like. <laughs> yeah, what is? It looks like. He's getting shot. I don't recognize that weapon. He's going to be murdered because he's very rude to Morph. And he left Morph to die. So uh, this is for you, Morph. I believe he's being shot with some sort of uh, Rob Layfield-style gun. Not to mention Rob Layfield-style torso. Oh, yes. Look at the pouches, man. That is from Von Fang. Thank you, Thank sir. you, Von Fang. Smart guy did a, a wonderful thing. Smart guy's on a roll here. Smart guy's like... <laughs> he was very quiet as far as the art goes for so long. And then he exploded like a supernova. Of art just spewing out of him, and here it is, Elf Two with OJ. I still need to see Elf One. Oh, you gotta see it, dude. I've, I'll let you borrow it. Why don't you see please, it? Please, dude. That? that would make my hol- my make my holiday season would only be complete if I got to watch John Rambo's copy of Elf. I will sign it for you. And everything. Please. Tyrion Lannister's in it. Tyrion. Tyr- I can't. I Tyrion. Know. Tyrion. I always thought it was Tyrion. Um. Yeah. I was gonna make you do a uh, a scene, but you never saw the movie, so I don't think you could pull it off. I was gonna be like, OJ, do some Elf for us. But you, you don't even know what it is. Smart guy again. This is a picture of me with my shirt off that I put on Twitter. Because I'm one of those people that does that. Uh, I got the mistletoe ready. Whoever's underneath. Uh, Smart guy also. OJ. Has been arrested. That's about right, as actually. A scent. <laughs> that's, that's pretty much me. What were you doing that got you in trouble like this? Actually, that height is almost spot on. I'm a few yeah, inches yeah. taller, but that's pretty darn close. Are you, you're a little bit taller than I am. Uh, what is your height, actually? I'm six or six one. Like if I just woke up, because but you, like, if you stand up straight, you're like seven foot tall. 
But you I stand up straight. I'm like six one at you most. You slouch down a lot. Yeah, I can't imagine why. Don't do that. Mm. Don't do that. This is Bad. from RL09. I hope so. It looks like he signed something different than that. <laughs> is that Michael? So this is actually smart because if you like, if you write your name there, then I can't screw up your name, right? <laughs> That's actually kind of tough. I don't know how he did this. It looks like a computer art thing. Very nice. It looks pretty cool. I also like how your ear has the number seven in it. Is that significant? This has become like a very iconic uh, pose that I did here. Yeah. And like it'll never die. It's like it's crazy. It's like that Hope poster. It's like the Obama. Yeah, me and Obama. The Obama Hope poster is very similar. <laughs> okay, now this is poster. the best thing ever. Attack on Titan with us. Oh, that's, I don't know what this is. I don't know. You, you, this you is from the anime Attack on Titan. Okay. And uh, that's one of the Colossal Titans. And then there's two characters. I'm not going to say who they are. Circling around it, trying to strike the strike it and kill is it. Is one of them Link? On the left? No, nope, none of these two characters are Link. None of them are Link. No, All not right. not today. This is from Mr. Kyle Charles, who's in our intro today. Did you like that? Did you see that? How he was frozen, then he came to life? You know <laughs> the, the thing with the... Oh, man, he yeah. That. He made this. This is what's in my beard. At you. There's elephants in there. There's a tombstone. Around is that Jumbo. Howard? I think it might be, yes. It's pretty classy. Oh, it's Ron Jambo. That's the, that's the he just, tombstone. Oh, he just threw his mic across the room. It did go across the room. And uh, this is from Mr. Dr. Dr. Zombius, who made this actually for DSP, and then sent it my way, because DSP stole our, our whole bit where we show the art. He's doing the same thing. He stole it from us. Just joking around. But uh, there you go. So thank you, everybody. That's the art. That's the art for the win. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Like that art? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yes. Oh, do you have a new sponsor this week? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Are you ready? Oh, yeah. Well, folks, as you all know, we enjoy having money. And to facilitate us getting money, we've had to pick up getting a sponsor. Do you miss holding large, cold pieces of plastic to your face? Do you like being unable to leave the confines of your house while speaking to someone who is not in your house? Do you like long-distance charges? Do you still connect to the internet on a 50K modem, 56K modem? If so, try landline phones. Yes, people still have that. Landline phones. The only phone where a murder in your yard can disable your entire communication network with a pair of safety scissors. Landline phones. Because sometimes the future just isn't worth it. Think about how many like these existed, right? Where did they all go? There's some <sighs> landfill somewhere is just filled with these things. Right? We actually still have a... a we have, up until maybe a year ago, we had a working rotary phone in my parents' house. Yeah, well, I have... Got, a, oh, really? Yeah, it got kind of taken down when we started cleaning out the basement, but uh, it still worked. It was pretty great. Di I'd just dial people on it for fun because, A, it hurt your finger, and, yeah. B, it made me laugh. I remember when I was a kid, I'd play it. Like, you'd want to play with it. You'd just keep moving it, and you break Nobody it, even understands. Like, you that's break why it, and then your parents would whip you. You know what I'm talking about. They'd take you in the back room. Oh, yeah. Undress you, videotape it as they beat you. Yeah. You know, now, isn't that, you. isn't that why di you dial someone on a phone because you're spinning the dial around? I, I don't know. It, it, yeah, and I agree with Caller McEvan. You spin the dial, it goes... Yeah, it was fun. It was more of an event. It was an event. It's pretty look good. Look at it, though. Isn't it like, it almost look like something from the future in some ways? Yeah, I mean... Like, once you find out what it does, you'd be like, okay, it's, it's, it's stupid. But, like, just looking at it now, you're like, oh, my yeah, God, look, what look, is this look, futuristic look device? Look factor. Like, that is a mean-looking piece of equipment. Like, yeah, you right. look at a modern portable phone, not a cell phone, a portable, you know, landline phone. I think it looks like a... Like a piece of plastic you'd drop kick or you'd buy for a five-year-old. It's a monster. Yeah. Not to mention that cord on that thing. That thing is zicking braided, man. I remember, like, we would knock it's it on the... Wire. We didn't have the, the dial uh, later. Later, we had the ones you push the buttons. But it always get, like, knocked on the ground and shit. Oh, yeah. All kinds of things would happen. But, uh... There you go. Landline oh. Phone's a great sponsor for the show. A whole year of great sponsors. I wonder if we'll continue that bit in uh, 2014. I don't know if people really enjoy it or not. <laughs> I, guess I enjoy it. I like kinda, having money. We've gotten 35 cents so far, total. That, that is actually pretty good. 
Honestly, if you, if you really like the old style phone, you can get a USB, no, I'm sorry, USB Bluetooth attachment for your cell phone Why? that looks like the handset from an ancient phone like that. Why does that exist? Excuse me, I don't know, but I don't know. Maybe right, let's, for do a, let's go to another bit that may or may not exist in the next year. Okay. We'll see. Of course, ladies and gentlemen, facts about elephants. We are learning so much. About elephants. John, tell us a little bit what we've learned. We learned about the pregnancy, 22 months. Mm hmm. We learned something else I forgot. We learned. Did we Did we actually end up speaking about how there's a line of train tracks that keeps killing elephants? I don't think that? that was part of the thing. I think OJ's doing his own research privately. But anyway, today, our elephant facts. Here we go. I'm going to read this to you guys because we're learning together. The most distinguishing feature of the elephant is its long nose or trunk, and large, floppy ears. The elephant's trunk does more than smelling and breathing like a normal nose. It's also used for drinking, snagging food, and sending out loud, trumpeting noises. That's pretty interesting. I mean, uh, at least it does a lot of things. It sounds like me when I have a cold. Yeah. It does yeah. all of those things. You are kind of like an elephant. This is true. But uh, it's like a, it's a guy with a big nose. If people go, oh, you have a big nose, you can't. What, what can you say back? There's no comeback. At least an elephant's got. Well, look, I can do this. I can do that with it. Say so it's it's practical. You like that? All right. What's a little more that, information yeah. here? A little more information. Enlighten us. Unusual for mammals, the testicles of elephants are located within the body, close to the kidneys. The male's reproductive tract is about two meters long. Adult males go through periodic episodes of elevated testosterone in heightened aggressive states called must. <laughs> must, think, must can be recognized by the large amounts of thick fluid draining from the temporal glands located just behind the eyes. Many elephants continually dribble urine and show damp patches on their hind legs. Must elephants show several unique behaviors including ear waving to spread the must scent. A must rumble or low-frequency vocalization announcing his presence to cycling females. A must walk with head and ears held high above their shoulders as a visual display to other bulls and aggression towards everything in its path. All of these make the must bull a formidable opponent. Although we fully don't understand the complex behavior function of muths, muths elephants are frequently successful suitors for cycling cows. I'm in awe. I'm in awe. I don't even know. They, they go into some sort of a, they have like a berserker rage kind of thing. Are you saying that all elephants are like Wolverine? <laughs> they have, they go into the state. Does this happen to you? Uh, don't check for any of those things on me, please. Yeah, so there you go. Uh, you know, I mean, that's a great fact. I didn't, we didn't, we learned all kinds of things. We're learning all kinds of things. You never heard of that before. They don't, this is something they don't tell you. I never you, knew that. No, that, that's something you never told us in biology class. They never tell you that because they don't want you to know. But here on the show, <laughs> we're, we're breaking the walls down. We're breaking walls down. Barriers are being broken. And we let people in to, to the real information, the truth. <laughs> the moths. I don't, how do you even pronounce that? I don't know. It's M U S T H. This is how I thought you were supposed to say it, but it could be wrong. M U S. That is worse than lisp. That is a crazy word. You know. So anyway, should we start going into the calls now? We promised uh, a caller show, and we did a half hour with no calls and just okay, complete nonsense. Like bring up the calls, bring up the calls. Yes, yeah, so if you want to get on it's JRP the show. We try to give everybody, um, you know, a decent amount of time. But we want to try to get everyone on that wants to get on. So it's kind of a hard balance to find. So if we kick you off at a certain point, don't be upset or anything. Try to have your mics and all that stuff plugged in, ready to rock. Make sure that the stream is turned off when we call you. Anything else? Any other rules? There's a lot of rules here. Um, <laughs> I think, I think you covered most of it. All right. That's that. Okay, let's see what's going on here. A lot of people. A lot of people. Let's start with Mark Crown, because Mark's got something important to talk about. Okay. Regarding the show and other, other things. 
Okay. Here he comes. Prepare yourselves. Hello. Hello. How are we all doing this fine whatever it is? <laughs> We're doing quite well. Oh, surprise. It's not just Mark we have joining us yeah, right Yeah, Slinky wants to come on with Mark. Yes. Yes. Should we wait for Slinky or should we get right, right down to business here? Uh, we can wait for Slinky because I think he's he's most of the details. I I used to know that I will host it. <laughs> that's Mark has a proposition. It's a business proposition. <laughs> Is Slinky here? I don't know what's going on. Yeah. Whoa! Yeah. Hello. <laughs> Slinky's Slinky so nonchalant has... when he comes out. Hello. Yo. Slinky, how are you, buddy? I'm uh, pretty good. Slinky, you okay, man? Just a little, little down or something. You're right. Slinky, are you okay, Slinky? Is he? I think you Slinky. Slinky. I lost him. There's a red exclamation point over his uh, icon <laughs> in Skype. He's dying. I know. All right, someone send help. All right, we'll call Slinky. him back. Mark, Mark, start, start off. You have to tell us what's going on here. What's happening? So, uh, D Slinky was the one that. Uh, Really, or I've been wanting to be on the show uh, or something with it for a while. Uh, it's kind of fixed it, Slinky. Is to say. Yeah, so, uh, and then when you uh, guys are having a break, uh, Slinky was the one that suggested that we should take it over when you all are gone doing whatever it is you're doing. <laughs> so, so. Hi, Slinky. so let me get this straight. So when we stop, next week is our last show. And then after that, we're gone. You guys want to do the show live on Wednesday nights at the same time slot. Is that the plan here? Yes. Or uh, yeah. it, the, the time slot may be a little bit earlier, but <laughs> not uh, like, uh, let's say, like uh, six I would prefer if you guys kept the uh, same time slot because I think that people that like to hang out here and, and hang out and talk to each other and stuff would, yeah, uh, would yeah. like to be at the same time. Yeah. So that's my suggestion. Um, yeah. If you guys want yeah, to do it was something... Just, uh, uh, there was some... Bushi was one of them that really wanted it to be earlier, but mm -hmm. also I, uh, it's the 25th of December. Is the Yeah, the 25th the, is a Wednesday and, and January 1st is also a Wednesday. That's why part of the yes. reason why we're gone. Yes, yeah. I understood that, but uh, yeah. So I, I doesn't I don't uh, I celebrate Christmas on Christmas Eve. So okay. for me, to have it on Christmas Day doesn't. Mark, listen, I like you, Mark. I trust you. If you want to do it, you can do it. Um, we'll we'll talk about it more, but um, yeah, we'll definitely you guys could definitely do whatever you want. Uh, yeah. but it's kind of like it's kind of like this. It's kind of like. The parents are leaving the kids in the house, <laughs> and they're going on away, and they don't want the kids to wreck the house. OJ, oh, with you, OJ and I are the mother and the dad. I'm the I'm the guy, obviously, yeah. and we're going yeah, on a trip. Too much chaos. Yeah. yeah. OJ, you okay with that? And then um, they're, we're leaving them the keys to the car and the whole house. <laughs> so here's the thing: I yeah. just don't. You guys can do whatever you want. Just don't, you know, don't get banned. If we're gonna no. get banned, if, if we're gonna get banned, I want to be the cause of it, not not you guys. <laughs> I want to be the one that did it. <laughs> so yeah, I uh, the twenty fifth of December. We need to have just loads of uh, Christmas stuff. I don't know what yet, but we should just cram it in with mm. as much as possible, and then people can call in as we do. Right, so what we'll do, we'll, we'll, do, we'll talk about it calls. more, and then and then next week we'll have an official announcement about what you guys are doing. And, January uh, 1st, possible. Uh, we can maybe do like December 31st. We start off like maybe 11 o'clock at night going to the new year. Oh my God, a midnight uh, thing. John, are you, yeah, that, John, are you hearing that? I, was, I, I was also thinking the same thing that we should do like a midnight style thing. Yeah, maybe I, could, oh, wow. maybe I could even jump on with you guys at some point too. We'll see what's going on. Yeah, we can but, get, um, try to get lots of people in here. I'm basically going to just be relaxing. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go into like a, like a, um, a coffin, like Dracula. I'm just gonna, and I'm just gonna yeah. lay there for like weeks and just recuperate, <laughs> you know. Well, uh, John, anything to say about this? Very quiet about this uh, term of events. About the 31st? No, no, about what's going, what they're proposing and everything. Is this good? Uh, that's cool. I'm just gonna miss everybody. He's, he's, sad. he's sad. Yeah, we'll 
try to be as to show similar as possible because <laughs> that's how we, so it's gonna be batshit crazy as always all right so uh, we have a more info on that and that'd be that's great it's a great thing um yeah. people want to keep nice of you out. guys to do so too yeah, it's very nice of you guys yeah. it's awesome man so yeah i'll try to reach out to some people to get some guests they never really respond yeah it's hard it's, it's a tough thing i i go to all these athletes on twitter oh that's like impossible <laughs> <laughs> We're getting... That's very difficult. Sure, let's try. So help I me if you guys get Bob happen. Saget and we didn't. I'll be so happy and sad. I don't think it's even possible. He doesn't respond to anyone. No, he doesn't. I he's very, wants he's to he's get someone. Jerk. We hate him. Uh, Slinky, did you hear the new Billy Joe album? Do you know what it is? Yeah, he teamed up with I think Norma Jones to do an album together. Yeah. I've heard about it. But, it's the strangest album of, of all time. I, I I got it today yeah. actually because I like it. But it's it's Billy Joe Armstrong from Green Day with Nora Jones, and they're what they did is they remade a, a uh, the Everly Brothers album from the nineteen fifties. They, re, they remade the whole album together. Yeah, it's the most bizarre thing ever. But it's, it sounds really nice. I like it. I like it. I don't usually like that style of music, but yeah. he's in it, so I pretty much have yeah, to listen yeah. to it. Yeah, I think it's, I like it. So uh, it's just very weird. Like I didn't even know about it. I went on uh, Amazon. I was like, "What? In the, what in the hell is this?" You know. Yeah. I can't even imagine like what it sounds like because you know Billy Joe's got a pretty distinct voice, and Nora Jones yeah. kind of does too. So I don't even know. <laughs> it's for singing gonna, old songs. It's what you think it is. He's got a punk voice too, so it's odd seeing it work there. Also with uh, it's when he did the bro- weird. when he did the Broadway thing for their album, I went to one of the shows when he was in it. Nice. It was definitely interesting seeing him do that. He's like <laughs> my favorite uh, artist, one of my favorite people. So, as you can see from my picture, yeah, I yeah, that's why there. I brought it up. I was like, I'll just let you know about it. Um, that's let, me, the... let me ask you guys uh, something before we before you go. Mark's got some sort of a, a Pokemon or something. I don't know what that is, but uh, <laughs> 2013, 2013's ending for for uh, for us. What a fur. Pretty soon. What are like some great moments for you just in anything in regards to like entertainment or your life or whatever Slinky go ahead something great 2013 you'll remember um definitely the concert the concert got pretty close about three rows from the front of the pit had to wait you? out had to wait out like four hours outside but it was definitely worth it um this one was late 2012 with the Avengers Celtics game I went to and the Knicks Celtics game I went to that was in 2013. I like those. Okay. Unfortunately, though, the Knicks Celtics game that was the last game Rondo played at home until his injury. Ah. Mm-hmm. Derek Rose got hurt again, by the way. No, the I year. know. I know about following everything. And it's very depressing. For me this year. Yes. That's bad. Is definitely basketball because. Not, all, not only the Celtics sucking, I mean, it's for a good cause, but the whole division is just so awful. Yeah, it's a terrible, the whole Eastern Conference is pretty crappy. The, the, the sad around. thing about it is, though, one of these teams from the Atlantic Division is going to have one of the to- top four spots in the they're conference. Just, they're they're going to lose, like, though. It's probably going to be the Celtics, by the way. Yeah, they're probably going to have, like, a losing record, yeah. but in the playoffs <laughs> with one of the top seeds. All right, Mark, 2013, what's it for you, man? The Crown Cast, the birth of the Crown uh, Cast, is it, what is it? Uh, Tell us. No, no. We without the, I mean, uh, I want to add the the Rambosh and general into it as well because I I mean it's just you all you guys are amazing, but the thing for me is without a doubt GameCon I went to this year. I I I don't think I ever spoke about it on uh, the show. So, but uh, yeah, it was like maybe I did. I don't know. But uh, it was back in beginning of April, and uh, when I went to UK and uh, had a convention, GameCon, which was mostly like community-oriented, yeah. sort of more for the people in general, just to meet other different people, hang out, and I met so many cool, awesome people there, and I just had a blast of a weekend. People can, if you go onto my uh, YouTube channel Mark Run Stories actually see some of the <laughs> vlogs I have made or I just upload it just 
a month ago, I think. Yeah. It's really hilarious stuff. And you should also go and watch the Ed Trotter one. Yeah, oh, well, Mark did an interview with Ed uh, on, <laughs> on uh, Twitch. Yes, along with Smart Guy. Yeah. The Smart Guy is the one that set everything up. He was just like, uh, just uh, said to me, go on Skype now, okay? And I was like, yeah, okay. And then suddenly I was in a call with him. And Smart, Ed. Guy did a, Smart Guy did a great job at that, too. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, he lives up to his name. Yes. Yeah, and then he just asked if it would stream it, and I just went with it for the most part. Smart Guy was the one branding it all, but I just was the one that mainly asked the question. I just went with it. <laughs> yeah. We didn't even know what we were supposed to do, but it was fun. He's a really great guy. All right, great, guys. Thank you. Uh, we got to kick you out. We got to get some more people in. Um, so uh, we'll, uh, we'll have more information Doug about... wanted on, to be on next. Well, I, Doug doesn't make the rules, okay? <laughs> No, I, just I make the rules. I just passing on what the, he Mark, said Mark, that he wanted no, to Mark, be on. No. All right, yeah, thanks, guys. We'll, we'll have more information about the, the takeover of the show and all that stuff. So. Done, yeah. done, done. All right, well, bye, guys. Bye. See you. I just called Slinky again. Oh, no. <laughs> Don't torture him. He doesn't want to talk to us anymore. He's tired of our... Uh... Hmm. Let's have Doug quick. The smart guy himself? No, I love Doug. Oh, du World Law. I have to ask him something, actually, yeah. Wait. Wait, what was... I can't believe I forgot smart guy's real name. Now I'm sad. Come on, man. I'm trying. Hello? I have Hello, Doug. Go. Doug! Hello. I still have your dang candle, here. man. I, I know, I, I, uh, I still got your guys' box. Oh, good. Man. You know what? Because I thought you sent it. <laughs> and, like, every time I go to the P.O. box, there's, like, other people's mail in it. So I don't know what's going on. I think, like, maybe uh, I'm sharing it with people. I don't know what's going on here. But then I start getting these ideas, like, they're taking out my mail or throwing my mail out. I'm getting all upset. I'm like, they threw out Doug's thing that he sent me. I'm pissed. But you didn't even send it, Doug. No, I didn't. I just wanted to come on real quick and promote my new Twitch channel that I've oh, actually oh? Been, been streaming some stuff. I am currently working on making a game on wow. every stream. So. Okay. Using uh, RPG Maker. Oh so. man, which version? Uh, VX Ace. Oh wow! <laughs> Did you ever see the really derpy version for the PS One? <laughs> yes, I've been using it since two thousand. RPG Maker two thousand. So. Yeah, that one was. That one was much better than this one. Really? Yes, the uh, battle animations. It actually had like old school Final Fantasy four, Final Fantasy six style. Where this is just basically a picture of the monster and then just a list of names. And you don't see the player characters. Wow, so it's like Dragon Quest, except you never see the characters ever? Yeah. Aww. <laughs> Strange. No reaction. He asked a question, no reaction. So where, where can we find the channel, Doug? Where, where is it? Tell us. It's twitch.tv slash xworldlaw8x. All right. Very nice, well, that's easy enough to Yeah, and then the, the second thing I wanted to do, OJ. Uh-oh. Your channel has been dead on YouTube for a while. <laughs> I would like to make a suggestion of a game that you could potentially play on it. Whoa, here we okay. go. Okay. Yeah. It's right here. Oh. But I, I still have three. <laughs> I wouldn't have to buy anything. Yes, you should get Persona 4. It's like 30 bucks. Should I skip 3? No, you should play 3 He's and 4 it, at the Doug. same don't even, time. Don't even try, Doug. Because storyline-wise, 3 and 4 actually take place less than a year apart. So you can oh, play both really? of them. Yeah. According to the Persona 4 Arena fighting game, the story in that basically is the, it's just slightly after the events of this game, and that takes place a year after Persona 3. So Really? Yeah, so they take place really close together. John, what's going on with your YouTube channel? Tell us about that. I took I, the camera away, basically. Right? Yeah, you, you did take the camera away that I bought. <laughs> um, I would like that eventually, by the way. <laughs> Someday. Please. But, uh, yeah. No, sorry. I've just been running around like a chicken with its face cut off. I haven't even, like... I don't even... I had ideas for stuff, and I never just sat down to actually zicking do them. It's kind of a problem. 
What is this dog? What, how come all you guys are pulling strange things? Wait, like, wait, wait, you guys wait, are stay frightened. right there. Don't go away. He, who knows what he's gonna come back with? It could be anything. It could be actually anything. Really, Doug? A white mage chicken? I'm sorry. Black mage chocobo jerk face. <laughs> I'm hanging up Damn. on both of you. <laughs> oh, look, they're gone. They're gone. I took it off. This is the power that I wield here. This is my domain, my friends. I control what happens here. All right, look. Now they took it away. I'm going to bring them back. It's magically. Wow, and the chocobos are gone as if they never existed. So what happened, John? You never sent the candles to him, or what happened? I don't have his address. Do I have your oh, address? Okay. Yes, I already emailed it to you. When? Uh, like a month ago. Seriously? Yeah. <laughs> Hold on, let me check this. All right. It's like a month or two months ago, so... All right, fair okay. enough, dog. You guys gotta make this transaction happen. Let me know. Let me, when actually, I'll put this out there for everyone. If you're gonna send something to the PO box, please let me know. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll before, email you yeah, and before, yeah. tweet you. So yeah, I dude, can, so I I'll totally don't have your. I I have. I'm, I did a search for all your emails, and I don't have your address in there. Uh. Dog, just give your phone number now to everyone. And we'll, all right, no. <laughs> all right, we'll talk uh, to you soon, no. man. Thank you, dog. Yep. Bye bye. Thank you, sir. Bye. Yeah, it was driving me nuts with the P.O. box, man. Like, the last time I went, I had all those persons, like, um, like, fa like tax information. Oh, seriously? I'm like, what, do I, what am I supposed to do with this? Um, and then if I ask the post... Identity theft? Doi. Then if I ask the post office people, they say just throw it out. <laughs> this is what they tell me to do. Uh, well, I just throw it out. I'm like, okay. Throw it away, throw it away, throw it away now. Yeah, yeah. Okay, a lot of people here. Let's go with Mr. Anthony. He was on last week. But he did a nice job with it, so we're gonna have him on again. He's not banned. Like some other people are. He's got a cool logo. Yeah, look at that, it's custom. Why, thank you. Hello, Anthony. Oh, whoa, whoa, wow, you went straight into it, nice. He's a pro. Exactly. Yeah, right. How are you doing I feel kind of bad. I was on here last week. <laughs> He's taking up all the time from everyone. But, from everyone but else. first, what? I'm going to go ahead and keep the tradition of pulling out weird things. <laughs> everyone on this so, program should have their minds. Uh, this seems, whoa. This little Frontier Model B. Uh, please tell me you guys are familiar with Firefly. Yeah. Yeah. So you know what this is then, right, OJ? Yes, I absolutely I hope yes. so. I could be wrong in my guess, but it certainly looks like his gun. Yes, that is Malcolm Reynolds' Frontier Model B. Is that from Black it's, Friday you got that? Uh, no, but I could have used it for Black Friday if I actually did go to pistol whip people. Yeah, right. I, yeah. Anthony, how are you, sir? How is the thing going that you're doing? I, don't know uh, I feel bad call. for insisting that we do it last week because I was so sure I was going to have it done over that four-day weekend, <laughs> and unfortunately a lot of people had issues i had technical difficulties we had in florida the weather always sucks so we had fluctuating blackouts and other issues yeah, yeah florida weather i've heard is bad um i'm almost done i'm only waiting on just a small handful of people to get their voices and then once i have that it's going to be completed so i'm hoping to have it done this weekend but it might not be done till next weekend oh right on i'm looking forward to it how's it gonna work it's be on your channel yeah I mean, it's gonna be broken off into seven chapters the whole thing's Ooh. about Three and a half hours long or so. Wow. Dang. That's, yeah. a lot of, that's a lot of editing right there, buddy. Yeah, it is. It's, it's just definitely taking a lot of time. I could, I could see it in your face. Like you're just you like you've been sitting there for like days. I'm gonna maximize this window so I can see yeah. it. Yeah. You're urinating in a bucket right next to you, I could see it. It's full. I don't think my wife would be very happy with that. <laughs> <laughs> it could be a big bucket. Well, I mean, it's, would... you know, it's fine until it gets knocked over inadvertently, oh, yeah. and then you have a terrible um, disaster. You can use yes. it to cycle a fish tank. And, OJ, I agree with you. This should be like a household item. Everybody should own what Cards Against Humanity. Oh, there you go. Oh, man, nice deal. <laughs> it, it's, it's a game for terrible people. It's a party That's game why for I own horrible it. people. That's why I own it. So, Anthony... One of the best things, I look back at 2013, one of the best things I think that came out of the year was the Gamer Talk Live. Well, that of, was definitely one of the things. Also, one of the things you've been, you guys have been doing. Uh, being dubbed the Ramborgian Historian was also oh, yes, part of that, yes, kind yes. of going through the entire thing. That is an official thing. Uh, Doesn't pay it well, but is a title, you know. Exactly. Uh, I got a new go job. 
a new to job. To further uh, my IT career, I'm actually working uh, the county courthouse as their uh, one of the small team of like six people that t- take care of like 750 different computers. Oof. Wow. So it's actually a lot of fun because I always enjoy a good challenge. But I'd probably have to say the one thing that's probably going to be greater than anything in 2013, which is kind of a big announcement, is the fact that uh, my son's actually going to be born on December 22nd. Wow. Of, uh, Congratulations, sir. Of what year? This, this year. year. Yeah. Like, like in a couple weeks? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Uh, the doctors actually here? say he's already fully developed, so he actually might even show up sooner. It could be Sounds. on Christmas Day. It's Even possible. before that. Even before that. That's awesome, man. I didn't even know you wow. had that going on. That's uh, that's wonderful. Yeah, that's something I usually don't mention either on like the show or even on like Gamer Talk Live. That's more of what I keep on the personal channel or f- for like friends. But yeah. I figured it's it's huge. It's definitely something I'm probably most excited for for 2013. Definitely the high note. Oh yeah, that's the the way to go out there. Whole, yeah. new, whole new thing. Do you have a name ready? Some names? Uh, Jr., yes. Maybe? Or uh, you name him Kane, maybe? Kane's I was maybe? actually going to go ahead Nate? and name him Ramboje, but then my wife said no. So <laughs> <laughs> the, His that, first no. name is going to be Edmund, uh, after Edmund Dantes, the Count of Monte Cristo, because he's a badass. Nice. Yeah, wow. And the middle name is going to be Emerus. I'm going to see if you guys can guess Emerus. I, I don't know that. Uh, Emerus is the real name of Merlin. Ah, oh, really? Oh. Yes. Nice. That's like, it's like on multiple levels there. That's pretty sweet. Yeah. That's incredible, man. You got, you got so much good. You seem like a very busy guy. A lot of things happen in your life. Um, a lot of good things going on with you. Yeah. I mean, a lot of great true? things have happened in such a short period of time. 2013 has it certainly seems been. like you're always got a very good attitude. Every time I speak with you, he's very happy. You always got this nice energy about you. Um, and then by the time he's done speaking with us. How do you... <laughs> <laughs> how do you how do you approach things like this? Like with, with such um, it was joy. It, it comes. It shoots out of you, shooting out of your joy. How is this well, hap- possible? It's because of the fact that you know, life tries to kick your ass, and you just gotta not take it shit. Can't take yeah. shit from anybody. Remember, stay ballsy. I do. That's yeah. kind of been the lifestyle before even hearing that phrase, yeah, and yeah, yeah. I didn't even realize it. But well, uh, think of yeah. it this way: if life wants to kick your butt, wear steel plated pants. Or kicks life ass. That that works too. You gotta kick it first. It's a race. Who will kick whose ass first? But uh, uh, yeah, because uh, without going to a long labored story, things are actually a lot worse. Uh, not even a few years ago, I lost my father. Years before that, uh, I had parents that had issues with uh, drugs, and I was even homeless for almost a year. So it's wow. like when you go through a lot of that other stuff, yeah, everything else kind of pales in comparison. So it's very easy to be optimistic when good things happen and that's kind of what i can attribute to all this success in a sense now i mean i even i have a house finally with my wife well, that i can raise my kid in instead of having a crappy apartment like yeah, even last yeah. year that's wonderful you got a great thing going on man um i like i love the gamer talk live i want to are you still it's still going on and everything saturdays oh yes yeah. it's still every okay. saturday 8 p.m uh Twitch TV, uh, it's going to be Kane bringing the pain live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We actually have Lambent as a secondary co-host to kind of fill my shoes in case of, well, obviously I'm going to probably be busy with my son, so sometimes Aww. I might not be able to make it. Right, 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 right. Um, yeah, I'd say, like, looking at this year, it's one of the best things that, that uh, I've seen uh, come up. You guys just started doing this thing. You definitely got, like, your, your audience is, is always there, and you guys are having a great time, and it's a great program to, to check out, so... Uh, you know, um, definitely keep going with it. You know, I appreciate it. We definitely still are going to try and get you guys on at one point or another. <laughs> yeah, I've been watching a few times. But sometimes I don't um, make my presence known, but sometimes I do. <laughs> we try to be entertained. I've, I've seen it live a few times, actually. But uh, it's, it's great work. I can't wait to see the WWE thing you're putting together. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, I guess I should probably plug that channel. Yeah, uh, right. The easiest way would probably just to search within YouTube amazingly average gameplay of Anthony or just the really hard to pronounce A-M-Z-A-V-E-G-A-M-E-A-N-T. Amzav Game Ant, which everybody goes out, blah, 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 blah. Right on. <laughs> well, let me ask you a question, kind of an oddball question, okay? Go for it. If you could make YouTube your career, would you do it? Um, that's kind of a hard thing to say. I, I know I would have been against it at first because it feels like I really wouldn't be doing much. 
uh, not to say that other people don't. It's just that I've always just been somebody who's loved technology. So I think maybe if I did, that wouldn't be the only thing I would do. I would mm-hmm. still probably at least try and fix computers for people within my community as like a side job. Just do something else besides just the YouTube. Mm-hmm. But I, I mean, I guess I would probably consider it. Think about, Take a look at it. Think about it. Yeah, I mean, because if the, obviously if that brings in more money for my family right, than what yeah. my current career or job does, then obviously considering my family, I'm going to go ahead and take what's going to be better for them. Right. Do you feel oh, like your, your your current job takes away from like what you could do on YouTube? You feel like if I didn't have to go here for all this X amount of hours all day, I could do all this other stuff on YouTube and possibly turn that into something bigger. Does that ever uh, go through your mind? To a smaller degree, uh, I mean, again, like I said, I'm really actually happy with my job. It's a lot of fun. We even just recently, today, put up a Christmas tree that had a whole bunch of uh, tech crap on it. We had, like, floppy disks, or pieces of RAM, CDs. Yeah, so, yeah. I mean, it's like so I said, to me, that's, that's, like, a very important part of my life. I've always been uh, with, around computers, fixing computers, building people computers. So it's not something I would ever really give up. But if I had more time in a day... Mm-hmm. Or if I did work, I guess, a little bit less, I could probably create a little bit more. Whether it would be better, I'm not so sure about that. <laughs> oh, come on. But I could probably produce enough. more. Yeah, yeah. Awesome, man. Give me one, uh, th- well, you already have your 2013 moments coming, so uh, do you want to give something that happened previously, that uh, a great 2013 memory? Oh, no, like I said, just the new job, actually getting a house instead of having a crappy apartment, becoming the Ram Borgia historian. All this year, this, all this happened. All this year, all this happened wow, this year. Wow, That's wow. why 2013 has probably been the best year so far, and hopefully the next year is even better, not only for myself, but also for everybody watching, and definitely for you guys as well. I think it will be, sir. I think you got the right attitude. You approach things the correct way. And you're going places, kid. You're going places. And enjoy every step. Okay, of the yeah, way. keep us posted on uh, on everything, and send it, you know put out some photos and some uh, baby pics and all that, and definitely see it, man. So, hey, maybe I can get man. a little you know stay ballsy baby onesie. <laughs> we got that. It'll be four hundred dollars. <laughs> yes, we'll be OG. We'll, we'll hand weave it. All right, buddy. Thank you so much. With my man. own flowing locks. We'll talk Thank to you for soon. having me. Later, right, later, buddy. Can't get rid of him. I can't get rid it's of him. Because I'm so awesome. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> if you want, I was just gonna say, if you want him to get off the screen, have him lift up a chocobo. You know, you know what that's like. Uh, what was it a uh, Christmas story when, he's, when Santa kicks the kid down the slide? Oh, yeah. you're done. Just kicks him out. What? Yeah, Anthony's a great guy. Wow. I think that I think it's the highlight for us this year. Like, just all the the different people that we've. Uh, Met a lot. Met a lot of people. Or got close and got closer to other people that we knew before. Yeah, and we and uh, just heard some stories from folks we had no idea on either. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you looking at? Uh, Skype just put on an advertisement. Oh, I don't get those. I have things that take care of that for me. <laughs> Computer gremlins, clearly. Oh, we got a lot of people here. We got a lot of people. We try to get everybody. We're the Filipino gamer. Where's Rex tonight? Rex has always wanted to get on. Now he's not here? Um, I don't know. I think he's in the chat. Oh, there he is. Okay, I found him. We'll get him on later. Hello, nice. sir. Oh, not much. I am doing good. Like yeah. my new app uh, picture. <laughs> yeah. Filipino gamer, ladies and gentlemen. He's stolen many PS4s. Is that what's going on here? Yep. I claim this for Ramborja. <laughs> Sweet. Please don't Send steal things out of the box. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about the picture. What's it all about? Um, this is this uh, picture was taken during my hours working at the the uh, midnight lunch for PS4. Mm. Uh, oh. It went good until every a lot of stuff screwed up. Um, yeah. What happened? Tell me. Um, uh, we had this stupid thing that we were doing, like, once people, uh, pay, fully paid for their, um, their PS4s, we scanned the stickers on, like, that we have laid out of, um, of the PS4s that we have in the stock, and 
uh, with common sense, you should like literally block it with something the uh, like the bar so it doesn't scan again. Yeah. But we just like literally crossed it out with a pe- uh, like a pen and it didn't work. We screwed oh. up so many people's orders. Oh no. <clears throat> yep. It's not your fault, all right. No. So don't worry no. about it. Yeah. Don't yeah. Well, mm-hmm. And we had like so many more PS4s. I'm like, hey boss, can I take a picture of those PS4s? And he was like, yeah. <laughs> Advertise that stuff, buddy. <laughs> did you uh, did you guys sell out of them or what's going on? Um, yeah, we sold out uh, Friday. Uh, uh, that Friday hmm. after midnight lunch, like during. Do you mind? Uh, do you mind working the midnight launch? Or is it annoying, or is it like cool to give it to all the people that are happy to come and get their PS4s? Do you feel like you're kind of mm-hmm. happy with them in, a, in some ways? Yeah, I was uh, kind of happy doing it. It's something I can remember forever. Like I worked the PS4 launch, right? Because I, ah. I did. Um, I did Xbox, the original Xbox. Yeah. I, I, I launched that at Toys R Us, <clears throat> and uh, I did GameCube, all that stuff that that uh, couple of years there. And, yeah, I did um, GameCube too. That was fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. OJ's girlfriend's creeping on him. Yeah, yeah she's I, gonna, I, she's I, I see him. that. You're just going to see his head just disappear. Or a knife come after um, my throat or something. Mr. Filipino Gamer, you have ties to the Philippines, I, I assume here? Uh, I kind of wish you didn't uh, say that, but I'll... Well, we, don't have to, we don't have to talk about it. We don't have to talk about it. I'll keep this short and sour for you guys. Um, we were worried about them. How about your family? And, yes, my father's family in the Philippines. Yes. And we just contacted them within like a few days before today. So we were like, we were worried about you. And um, with a uh, factor that uh, ruins a family. It's called greed. Okay. They were like, yeah, uh, sorry to worry about you. Um, could you send us like 13 or $25 million? I'm like, what? Huh? So yeah. <laughs> yeah. They, they think the, that we are rich, but we're not. Uh... Uh, okay. So your family is okay. Is that what you're, you're telling us? Yeah, but it, to the point, I just don't care about my family in the Philippines right now. They just don't care. They just worry about the money and stuff. Okay. Well, at least everyone's okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's the important thing, I guess. Don't worry about the money. Worry about yourselves. Well, I'm so. sorry I brought it up. I didn't mean to, to do anything. Nah, it's fine. It's fine, man. I, I just gave, uh, gave it to uh, you guys sweet and sour. I just, like, to the point, I just re- really did not... I I wish they like literally did not t- contact us because it's like kind of rude for us to be worried and you know yeah yeah, yeah. all right Mr Filipino gamer something great <coughs> your favorite moment of the year that you will remember forever oh yeah um I've got two jobs I've um after high school I never once got a job the only few jobs I had just literally laid me off within three days yeah one was McDonald's um, I've been working at a uh, dollar store called Dollar Tree for about five months or six and to the uh, I've been enjoying that and also I got a job in GameStop which I'm thankful for mm. and just recently, like after two days of doing full cashiering, I got the cash register of the week, which I sent you a picture, John. Yeah, you know what? I, I don't think they even had that when I was uh, working there, but that's uh, I, I wouldn't have gotten it. But uh, like, that, that's great that you got that. That's, that's great 13 that's hours of cashiering from Black Friday and Saturday. <laughs> li- my boss, like, literally. He was talking to me so much. He was like, "Oh, Robert. Oh, yes, for Robert." <laughs> Sounds like an interesting guy. I'd like to maybe talk to him. Sometime. Yeah, he was kind of. Uh, he's a new boss, and I kind of like him. Stop. Except I don't like him when he flirts with the customers. But wow. Uh, okay. Well, uh, you know. Um. Yeah. So can I plug in my channel? 
Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, I have a channel called Filipino Gamer, um, which is on the um, YouTube right now. I do many playthroughs of JRPGs. And yeah, uh, come join me. I have like 26, uh, 27 subscribers. Yay! That many uh, subscribers. And if you want to talk to me, follow me on Twitter at uh, Filipino Gamer. There you go, everybody. Filipino gamer. <laughs> Are you okay? Watch Did you step on something sharp? What happened there? Did PS4 fall on your foot? Right there? No, no. no. Okay? Um, I have two... Uh, I, I'm sorry, but I have two questions for you, John. Oh, okay. Questions. I didn't know. All right, yes. Um... One, when are you going to bring back uh, Wrestling Smogisborg? Uh... 2014. <laughs> that's so freaking long I like the smart guys and stuff like that but I just I whenever there's downtime I'm like where's wrestling smorgasbord when I need it <gasps> you know what's funny is all um <coughs> it's hard to get it's hard to get Sturmgeist uh available for like certain times because he's very busy but I'll talk to him every now and then we'll have, we'll do like the show like with just us like talking a bit, like the same way like, imp like impromptu so we'll We'll figure it out. Definitely, we're definitely gonna come back to it. It just um, things got too hectic for both of us, so we couldn't continue with it. But uh, oh, I could join you, be a yeah. co-host. I can tell, like, literally tell you how shitty uh, WWE and TNA is. So yeah, it's also part of the issue because it's like most people want to hear about the WWE, and, and most of that I'm just gonna be I'm gonna be crapping on. So I don't do I really want to sit there for two hours? Take the steamy dump on it. Yeah, do I want to sit there for two hours just to be negative about something? I don't know. I don't really find that that fun. Now I could talk about wrestling that I do enjoy. I, I watch, I watch like uh, New Japan. I'm really into right now, but no one's gonna want to listen to that. So it's like, <coughs> you know, I don't know. It's kind of kind of stuck there. But we'll get back to it at some point. Okay, I'll be enjoying that. Uh, and do you, are you familiar with the wrestler in Japan card Hard Gay? Hard Gay? <laughs> Wasn't he like an? Is that guy like an actor Woo! type of? Uh, um, more of like a comedic thing. Uh yeah, he kind of his gimmick is like gay. He's so yeah, he's into... more from like uh like ten years like ten years ago maybe. Yeah. For a yeah time. yeah. It was around in two thousand five. Yes. Yeah. Chat hard gay. Woo! That's where I got it from. <laughs> Woo! That's what he does. Yeah, he goes. Woo! Yeah, he was more of like a comedy dude from like you know a couple years back. What do you want, hard or gay? Yeah. Yeah, where's like le like leather and shit, like a hat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah. very short pants. Not, it was so entertaining. It's more entertaining than um, uh, WWE, for instance. I found out there's like a uh, two groups of guys in Japan that only do the like, comedies, uh, then wrestling. And I'm like, this is what WWE should do if they're trying to be all comedy crap. Mm, yeah. I didn't even realize he was a wrestler. I just thought he was a crazy guy who was on TV all the time. He's, uh, all, he's he, all kinds of stuff. He's, he's kinda, now he's kind of he, done now. I think uh, he's now a uh, uh, freak, uh, a s supermodel or something like that. Yeah. Takes pictures. Oh, he's great. Yeah, he's like half naked. He's my roommate now. Yeah. All right, Mr. Filipino Gamer. Thank you, sir. And I thank you. And thank you. I hope you have a good holiday. Oh, you too, you buddy. You too, sir. Stay in touch, my friend. All of the holidays. Yeah. Okay. There he goes. There wow, he I didn't goes. expect Hard Gay to get brought up. Hard Gay on the show for the first time ever. I hadn't even show. thought about that guy in years. Yeah, I forgot he existed, right? That was like way back. Yeah, it's almost as if like he was drawn, driven from my mind by something. Yeah, like you didn't want to ever remember it again. Yeah, he was so, crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So well, if you want to mention to you the um Marvel's Infinity event is uh, now completed. Oh, I got to read that. I'm really Yeah, far take behind. a look at it. I think you should I think you should check it out. I, re I finished it uh, a couple days ago. Mm. Do you have to buy the side issues or is the main thing you actually You need everything. Well you need okay. everything. Okay. But uh I can hook you up with that. I was hooked up with it. Mr. SFT hair. Very so very kind fellow. But uh yeah, it was fun. So if you, if you read it, we can um, talk about that a little bit. All right, yeah. 
Um, well, did you mess with the new consoles at all? Did you see them in like a store or something? Or um, I've seen them in a store. Honestly, the most interaction I've had with the new consoles was talking with Phil on Skype via his Xbox One. <laughs> you were. But an interesting thing. Yeah, you were. I'm at my to parents' it. house for Thanksgiving. Uh huh. And my dad wants to play games sometimes, but not too much. Yeah. And he's saying he wants to get one of the two new consoles. Wow. And he's asking me which one he should get, and I'm like, well, I mean, it depends. I mean, honestly, like. Well, first of all, you could get a 360 for like two dollars, and yeah. you've got an entire generation of games that you've missed out on that you could just play. It's like, no, if I want to start with the new stuff, start now. I should start with the newest things, so because I'm not gonna go back and play old stuff. I'm like, okay. So we never. Oh. I don't know which one he's gonna get. I mean, it sounded like he'd really like the media features of the Xbox One. Yeah. But I can just imagine your parents saying things to the Xbox. Xbox, call OJ. It just doesn't do anything. Yeah. This is broken. But uh, that's interesting. I can't wait. I would love to hear the conversation if he, like, he goes to the store and like starts talking to the dude. Yeah, you know? I need to send him a uh, send him a list of the games that are coming out and be like, all right, Dad, this is what you're going to get if you get this one. This is what you can get if you get this one. Right, right. Yeah, honestly, I, the game he, I think he'd love more than anything else is Left 4 Dead. If huh. he could figure out how to move with the left stick and yeah. aim with the right stick. That's the problem a lot of the, the older the older folks have. They can't figure out the camera moves as you play. Cause yeah. Because they're, they're used to, like, this, you know, the locked in, like Pac-Man or the, you know, original Mario Brothers, right? Like, they just think it's going to do everything for them in that regard. You know, just yeah, move yeah, your character. Yeah. But instead, you're not just moving your character. You're like, moving well, the character's point of view, which plane. is an entire new dimension <laughs> that you don't really consider. Exactly, yeah. It's also hard because there's like generations they missed. Oh gosh, yeah. You're jumping from like you know, that's jumping crazy. from Rampart and uh, Battle Tanks to that's like going from like uh, the Civil War or like going going from like um, Boardwalk Empire, like the 20s, and all of a sudden like the next day you're in the Jetsons world. Yeah, like that's, that'd be kind of hard to uh, transition. It'd be a lot to take. It'd be a lot to take. Yeah. So, all right, let's keep it rolling here. Keeping it rolling. Did you send me a, an IM or something? Maybe. <laughs> what the hell? OJ says, I want to come on the show. <laughs> We're going with Bushy. Oh, man. We're going with Bushy. I know it's late. I don't know what time it is over there. Yeah. A little Nightwing going Bushido. on. Bushido. Huh? Bushido coming on the show. Hopefully. Prepare yourselves. We're it's making a, it's a call. It's four connections. It's long, it takes longer. The, the transmission is going through. Ah. Ah. Bushy. Hello. Hello. How are you, sir? I'm good. How's it going tonight? Yeah, it's going well. I'm just getting 100 messages. Aw. <laughs> <laughs> uh, are they, from are they like, you're on the show. Message him now. Who are they from? I don't know. You don't know who they're from? Graham Borsha? No. Bushy, is someone hurting you? Who is it? No, I'm not being hacked. You're being hacked? (laughs) Bushy's being hacked. John, do something. Uh, do not hack Bushy, do not hack Bushy, do not hack Bushy, do not hack Bushy. OJ stopped it. (laughs) With my double chin, apparently. Bushy, what time is it for you right now, buddy? 2.09 a.m. Holy pants. Are you tired or what? No. Not even tired at all. You gotta get up in the morning? Yeah, I gotta get up in five hours. Sir, I salute you and your hardcore nature. Bushy is hardcore. It's a great thing you said there, John. Because Bushy's always on top of everything. No matter what we put out, no matter what we do, Bushy's there. Always with something great to say. Um, I, I always appreciate to see him there. Bushy, we love you, man. That's all I want to yeah. say. That's what I'm trying to say here. You very much are happy to have you with us. Thank you. Bushy, what's some of the best things that went on for you this year, 2013? This year, mainly I discovered you guys. I discovered you guys at the beginning of the year, and then I just watched all your content. So how, did you, how did you find us? How did this happen? Well, I saw you first, John. Uh, in a Connectables playthrough. In <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> what? Yeah, in 2010. <laughs> Connectables, okay, sure. Yeah. And then I started like watching food. some of your content. And like, you, went, you found my channel from that, and then you started watching some stuff. and. Yeah. 
Just bit by bit. Oh, awesome. <laughs> well, I'm glad that we've entertained you this much. I mean, we, we certainly try. I guess we don't always succeed. Hmm. Bushi, what are you looking forward to in the new year? What's something you'd like to, to accomplish in 2014? 2014. Well, I'm leaving school. That's a very good thing. Oh, yeah, that's big. Yep. So, what did you do when you left? I left uh, well, high school, or 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 what are you, what are you talking about? Well, yeah, school. High, school. high school. Yeah. I screwed up a lot of things after that. Um, I uh, my grades weren't very good. I decided not to go to college. I got a bunch of jobs that uh, were crap, and then I toiled away for for many years for very little money. Um, and I'm still trying to kind of figure out what I'm supposed to be doing with myself. So, uh, don't follow that path, Bushi. You're, you're better than that. I recommend everybody, you know, you try to, you don't know what you're doing, try to get some kind of trade going, some, try to, some kind of educational thing going. Uh, what, what are your plans? Is that, is that what you're planning? I don't know. I might, I'll get a job. Yeah. Hopefully. At a game store. A hmm. game store? Yeah. That sounds true. very familiar to, me, to what I've done. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the thing, Bushi. Okay, I'm going to give it to you straight. you got to have an idea of where you want to be. People tell you that, and you kind of scoff at them. You're like, oh, whatever. Mm-hmm. i got all this time. The time goes quick, my friend. So you got to kind of think about what it is you want to be doing. And, mm-hmm. and you got to work hard to try to get to that point. And there's no guarantee yeah. you're going to get there. But as long as you're kind of working towards your thing... At the end of the day, you're going to feel good about uh, stuff, you know. And that's a really good way to find – and working towards something is a good way to find out if that's what you really want. Like you might go through it and then realize, oh, this actually looks awesome, this other thing. Well, then you've got something else to work toward. You know? so OJ, OJ did things really well. OJ's got a great thing happening. He went to school. He worked hard the school. He went to college. worked hard. He got a good job. And now he's able to get all the you know a house and all kinds of things he's, he's able to get. Well, I'm still renting it because you did you did your best and you worked hard at uh, you know things that were that were meaningful. So well, it helped having cool people around, John. You don't need to compliment me. We're, just, we're trying to put you over here. <sighs> oh, boy. What? I'm the kind of person like I have like big dreams. I always had big dreams about stuff, right? And when mm. you swing through the fences. You know, you you instead of just going for a bunt, some people go for a single. You can you can do that. There's a good chance of that. But when you swing for the fence, you can just strike out completely and crash and burn in a terrible fashion, which have kind of happened to me. But uh, it's better than sitting in the dugout. You just keep. On the there's bench. something to be said for that. There's something to be said for for giving everything you have and trying to do something uh, great. Um, I'm gonna keep trying. That's all we can do, Bushy. Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. If you keep looking around out there, you will find what you want to do. Hmm. It's tough, man. It's tough out there. I, 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 um, I worry for you. I want to wish I could just take Bushi and give him all the good things in the world, right, John? Twice as many of the good things in the world. Because he's going to go out there in the world, and the world is cruel, and the world is tough. It's going to be very, it's going to be difficult. Things are going to happen to you. I don't want that to happen to you, Bushi. Hmm. <laughs> ah. You're okay. Did something happen to you now? I hit my elbow. <laughs> See, terrible things are happening to Bushi, and I don't want this to no, happen. No! Fight back! Bushi, just come live with OJ, and we'll, and we'll call it a day, okay? <laughs> all you gotta do is play games all day, he'll pay for your food and everything. And I'm not sure that's how this works. <laughs> Actually, that leads to a question that I have to ask you. Yeah. All right. I'll post it in the, uh, what's it called? Skype chat. Uh-huh. Okay, so we have a question. I can't... Find it. I'd like to. I'd like to ask if Reborgians can mail themselves to the PO box. Yes. You want to mail yourself, like in a in a in a bit in a thing. Yes. A crate or something. <laughs> Possibly. You could try, Bushi. That's up to the U.S. Postal Service. Yeah, they're. I wouldn't do it. They might just they they lose mail all the time. You might wind up like who knows where you'll you'll wind up. Abu Dhabi. <laughs> it could be anywhere. <laughs> Yeah, I wouldn't trust the post office, no. <laughs> mm. do I actually want to show you guys something, but I don't know how to add camera. Uh, how do I do this? What do you I, have for us today, my good sir? Right up, I, I don't know how to do it. 
What is it? Is it an image you have, or...? No, it's something that got mailed to me. I won a competition. Something. Hmm. What is it, Bushy? Tell us. Okay, <clears throat> I'll just tell you. Tell us. The game store that I'm thinking of working at, I won a competition from them. And I won a bunch of Batman Arkham Origins stuff. Wow, oh, nice. Pretty neat. I won a black mask. Like, I'll send you like pictures and stuff later so you can see. Okay, a cool. Joker bubble. A Joker bubble head. <laughs> Always Wait. smiling, I would assume. Yep. Yeah. It's, it's very creepy. <laughs> Playing cards and a... A shirt. Which I'm wearing right now and it looks pretty cool. Uh, nice. You know, you Bruce Lee's Stay Ballsy shirt. He's been making his own. He's making bootleg ones. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Maybe when I'm older and I have, like, I can buy stuff online. There you go. Something to look forward to in the new year coming. In three years. In a few years, yes. Bushi, thank you, man. Thank you, One sir. One of the best things that happened to me this year was uh, was meeting you, getting getting uh, to be friends with you, sir. Hmm. Always talking to you on the Twitter. Pretty much every day I talk to Bushi on the Twitter machine. It's always a pleasurable experience, sir. Um, I hope you, you know, we can keep giving you good stuff to check out and... Um, Yep. Stay in touch, man. Let us know how things are going. Yeah. Let us know once you're one of us. We mm -hmm. must take care of our own. We want to hear how you're doing. One of us. One of us. One of us. One of us. <laughs> All right, Bush. We'll talk to you later, buddy. Okay. Bye. See you later. Have a good night, morning. Is he still there? Oh. Whoops. <laughs> Technology, <laughs> right? I can't, I can't help anyone. It's not letting me. Oh, Slinky's back. What the? I called Slinky somehow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> He's at that age, man. Well, like you know, you're right there. Like anything's possible, right? Yeah. Like it's you can do time. anything at that point. It's a good time. Yeah. It may not feel like it. You gotta but figure it out, though. You gotta figure out what you're where you're going. It's very tough. It's weird because like your whole life you're just going through like the school system, right? Yeah, you're just trying okay, to get this year. They tell you what to do forever. Like you're going now, you're going to this school, you're doing this assignment, and, da, da, da. and then all of a sudden you get to a point where it's like now you're on your own, right? <laughs> like, huh? Yeah, it's it, it's one of my friends described it in a very somewhat frightening manner. He's like, they just drop you off a cliff. You just go through this point. <laughs> And then you reach the end, and all of a sudden you realize that you're Daffy Duck. You look down, and you're like, I'm not on the cliff anymore. Yeah, but it's if not you, that again, bad, but it gives you that feeling because it's mm -hmm. like it's an entirely new thing. Everything just begins from there. But again, if you know where you're going, you know you want to go, then it's not so much like you fall off the cliff. You're just kind of walking the path, right? Yeah, it's but there it's is a path. Brutal man, it's brutal it's out there. Like I said, you, you, you make know, your own path. I'm still kind of figuring it out myself. Yeah, well, my, it's funny. My dad says. So, what do you want to be when you grow up? I say, I don't know. And he goes, I don't know either. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what to say. Nor I. It's a very confusing thing. And mm -hmm. Then you look at the people that have, like, so much, right? It's people that are, like, yeah. they have, like, fame, they have wealth. They have, like, everything that, like, you're supposed to try to achieve. But then they're, like, insane. And they're, like, on drugs or, like, they're lives are terrible and right well to quote um so it's like what paul and storm tom cruise is tom cruise crazy people are nuts i mean it, it's people weird. are just nuts there's no you there's get up there and it's, it's not the same it's different you're in a different league of humanity it's messed up man there's never a point where things are just like everything's perfect and will remain this way it's, a, it's like peaks and valleys right in life yeah 100 percent you know, things 100%. go amazingly great, and then something the next day, who knows what can happen, and then you lose it all, and then maybe you can get it back again, and then it's insanity. You can't predict it. Get me off this roller coaster. I'm done with it. Just but don't. You got to keep yeah. riding the rails. You can't get off. Good. You got to keep riding those rails. Mm hmm. Otherwise, you miss the fun ride. Right. That's true. And when you go down in the in the depths, you always got to know something around the course. Things could turn around. 
That's what our friend uh, Anthony told us today. So much to learn. Rex, you there, Rex? We're calling huh? it Rex. OG wanted Rex on. He was telling me we should have Rex in secret. What's up? Hello! Rex! 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 Everybody in the chat! Rex! Rex! <laughs> Rex! Rex! Everybody's doing it! The whole arena! How you doing, buddy? Uh, good, a little bad, because some idiot decided to impersonate my... impersonate a Twitter account of me. Ah. Uh. Whoa, 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 whoa. What happened here? Yeah. Tell me this again. Uh, someone decided to fake my identity and saying that's me on this Twitter account. He's claiming to be a clone of mine, but I think it's just full of crap. Well, were they, yeah, it's happ that's happened to us, too. People that happened to, to us a couple Twitter times, right? What did they, yeah. what did they do? Remember uh, what they did to OJ one time? They pretended to be OJ, and we had Allison Packard on the show, and they were sending her messages saying, I love you, and, and stuff like that, as OJ. Uh, Remember this? That was awful. It happens, Rex. It means that you're... Um, it means you're famous, basically. Someone wants to impersonate you. Impersonation is the most serious form of flattery. Right, John? Is that true? Is that the phrase? I have heard that said many times. Are you really yes. upset about this, Rex? What's going on? Nah, I'm okay about it. I'm just going to ignore it because it's some sh stuff that's just not worth hassling over. There's right, a exactly. phrase that's very true that we all have to keep in mind. Don't feed the trolls. Precisely. Okay. Um, I have an announcement I have to make. Yes, Rex, tell us. This is an official announcement on the show. Yes. Okay. I am going to WE Raw this Monday at Raw for the Slammy Awards. Oh, wow. Nice. I heard Shawn Michaels is going to be there. Have you seen him live before? No, I, this is my first show. Your first wrestling show? Yes. Now... I'm, my brother and I are going to be on next to the stage. You probably won't see us on TV. Okay. Cause, but we're gonna. I'm going to have a sign that says John Cena's best in the world because I'm a fan of him. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is this uh, this is a real thing you're doing? Yeah. Okay. I also nice. Ordered a John Cena shirt that should be coming in the mail in a couple of days. Oh, right on, Rex. Very nice. <laughs> I just wish Phil was here. What would you say to Phil if he was here? Pretend OJ's Phil and say something to him. I just want to thank you, Phil, for what you've done with your stuff over the years. I've been a fan of yours since your WE12 playthrough. Rex, why, and, why are you uh, complimenting Phil? Because you're on our, the show with me and OJ. Do you have something to say to OJ, maybe? That's a nice thing. I want to thank OJ for taking up the crap from the one show. Even if he was scarred, I thought he disliked me, but, yeah. But. I don't dislike people. You? Oh, Jay, did you have a problem with Rex on, after the no. show? No. You didn't, you didn't have any ill feelings towards him? No, I wasn't mad at Rex, Rex there's, no Ill, there's no ill will towards you from OJ. Okay, it's, I just want to... Actually, sure. OJ wanted to have you on the show today. He was sending me IMs in secret for some reason. He was saying, have, have Rex on. Did you know that? This is true. Rex, how do you feel about that? Somehow, John is not... I mean, OJ is not on Skype for some reason on my end. Oh, sorry. I'm invisible right now. <laughs> now I'm do not disturb. Yeah, right, Rex. Man, do you have any, anything else you want to talk about, Rex? Yeah, sure. Um, what do you got? One of my end year goals this year is to finally hopefully do a... Uh, hopefully is to uh, figure out what I want to do with my life and stuff, but that's more on the religious side, and I don't want to go into it for personal mm -hmm. reasons. Understood. Okay, but, fair enough. Um, but for 2014, I'm looking forward to, and so hopefully maybe I can finally get a girlfriend, finally. Of course One thing you can, I've noticed Rex. in that regard yes, John. is you can do it, but it's weird, like, the less you worry about it, the easier easier it is. It's weird. Was freak it was really freaky, though, earlier in the show when I saw Carol Ann, your girlfriend, in the background. Yeah, it was. <laughs> She's but, been reading a... Uh, she, yeah, she was just reading a book over there. 
And then, like, yeah, I turn around she and she's got her hands yeah, behind my know, head. Rex, what do you think about that? Uh, <laughs> what do you think about that, Rex? What about? I didn't care. It's just I was just like, oh, so that's OJ's girlfriend. That's what happens? But yeah, okay. dude, if I can get a girlfriend, you can definitely get one. Believe me. <laughs> do you guys know I have autism, though? I, I did believe not you, know, you believe but... you have told us, Rex. I told John. OJ, OJ and I have uh, OJ and I have a friend that has autism, actually. Cool. Yeah, we went to uh, high school with, and I'm still friends with the dude today. Yeah, and we go to we do all kinds of things. We hang out and do have fun times. <laughs> so that doesn't offend you. Why would it it's offend not us? Not offensive. It. Uh, eh, it's just right. that some people might get offended about it, but that's their business. It's just something. I mean, it's there's it's. There's nothing to be offended about. I mean, if it if someone ha- has autism, then they have autism. It's not like it's something for me to be like bah, 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 about, you know? Here's my advice to you, Rex. You need to be the best Rex that you could be. Mm-hmm. You don't need to be anybody else but Rex. And you need to be the very best Rex that ever was. And all things will work out, my friend. You can't, worry about, you can't worry about I have autism. I have this problem. Yeah, because that's not what makes you you. Maybe that's, you know, a part of being you, but that's not what makes you Rex, you know? I have to accept the fact that I have it, but mm-hmm. I can't let it control me. Exactly. You have to, you have to keep moving, my friend, and uh, yeah. do the best you can with what you, what you have. That's, that's all we can do. what you know, I like try a, to live by, but it's not always easy, but that's life. It's like what they said in Rocky Six, where life can keep throwing punches at you. It's not the person that gets through it. It's keep getting back up and keep keep going. That's exactly right, Rex. You know, and uh, a fish can't climb a mountain, my friend. A fish can't fly, but a fish could be a, a damn good swimmer. That's what right. you got to be, Rex. You got to be a damn good swimmer, my friend. I am actually a good swimmer. There you um, go, right there. See, I knew. Um, I, I actually, for Special Olympics a few years back, back when I was in junior high and high school, I went to state a couple of times and won some gold medals. Wow. I was pretty <clears> good <throat> back in the day, but my body's just not how it used to be. But that's life. You'll get older, my friend. Yeah. Rex, I want you to keep good. moving forward, man. I want you to stay yeah. positive. I want you to enjoy Raw on Monday. Mm-hmm. I will talk to you soon, my friend. Just enjoy yes, being just... Rex. Be the be a great Rex. There's only one Rex. There's a guy copying you, but he's not Rex. There's only you know who Rex is. Yeah, he even spelled my last. He sent you a message claiming that you're me. That I'm you. Or that he's you. Yeah. Okay. Well, he's not. We, just, we know who the real Rex just is. Just block him and stuff. All right, I will. Because my Twitter is Rexo 1991. And the guy that's sending you the messages is not me. I will not be so easily fooled, Rex. I know a Rex when I see one. And I cannot be so easily tricked. Believe me, I've tried. OJ's tried many times. Rex, thank you, sir. We'll talk to you very soon. Have a great holiday. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You have a great new year. And I love you guys We love you too, buddy. Thanks, you're the best, man. All right, Rex. But no homo. All right, no. Okay. Bye bye. Have a good night. See you, OJ. I did something so weird on Skype I never did before. What did you do? I was able to move the boxes around. Rex is a great guy. I'd like to just jump on his back and just well, have him. Well, if you fell into the ocean, he'd be able to save your life, man. <laughs> He's just a big teddy bear. That's what I mean. I just wanted to like grab, jump on his back, you know, get him tight, a tight thing. Just really. Grind up and, you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about, right? I may, I don't know. A nice back hug? Understood. You've done it with each other before, right? Understood. We had a uh, crazy freaking weekend. Yeah, uh, it's a miracle we didn't lose any um, limbs. What? <laughs> what? It's a miracle we didn't lose any limbs. Oh my god! So, uh, yeah, I, I was on like a like a marathon in a couple of days. 
because uh, well, Thursday was Thanksgiving. That was pretty nice. Yeah. On Friday, I, um, I was doing my real estate gig. I showed eight houses to these oh, people. Oh, gosh. And then I went to Phil's, which is an hour from there. We played the, the new Mario game. ba da ba ba da ba And then I got home at like uh, 12.30, something like that. Ow. The next day, I showed up at your place at around uh, 9.30, something like that, which is another hour away. And we filmed in the... It was a lot... 20 degrees. It was pretty dang cold. I think it was 32 at hour most. Hour after outside. hour. It was kind of a... It was, it was very tough. I knew it was going to be hard. I tried to prepare... But it just uh, didn't. It was t- once you start doing it, once you get into it, it's, you just it's have different. to keep. It's different yeah, than what you weird. planned, and then we did more on Sunday. I changed things. We did things again. It was very, <laughs> it was very difficult, man. It was really tough. Yeah. Well, I had a crazy week too. Yes. Well, you were there. Cause yeah. No. 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 Like Thursday, drove to my parents' house, spent most of the day there, drove home, went to bed, woke up on Friday, worked. Yeah. Then I know I did something else on Friday, but for the life of me, I can't remember, even though it's really important, whatever it was. House stuff. Oh, okay. So started setting up the house. Thank, thank you. Um, then Saturday, woke up early, started filming, finished filming, then dropped off one of our actors at a friend's place, stayed home, packed up the house, ate dinner, did a little bit of shopping, and then... Went to bed, woke up, filmed Sunday, and then Sunday, ate, we ate like breakfast right after we finished filming, unless you count like a couple granola bars. And then we went straight to, um, I drove into Queens, dropped off our actor, drove to Brooklyn, disassembled an entire bed, which was built so sturdily that we had to attack the thing for hours. Packed the thing into a van, wrapped up trash, and then went to bed and woke up at 5.50 a.m. to go to work on Monday. Yeah. Steve Holt. Oh, Friday. Yeah, I had my high school reunion on Friday. That's what I did. I knew it was. Which was high school reunion. I completely forgot. (laughs) That's pretty funny. Yeah, it was pretty funny. I, I didn't realize this until later. I'm like, wow. I can't believe so many people from my high school live within 40 miles of the high school. And then I realized the only people who showed up live within 40 miles of the high school. And they showed up because they live within 40 miles of the high school. Yeah. I never got invited to mine, actually, uh, because what they do is they just go through Facebook. Yep, that's what happened. I don't have Facebook, so they just never bothered and uh, didn't tell me and there's no way to contact me or something. I don't know. Wouldn't have gone anyway, though. Fuck those people. Let's get a new caller in here. Sir Maya the Bee. Uh-oh. Yeah. Hello, sir. Hello? Hello? Hello. Salut. Yes. How's it going, my friend? I'm doing great. What's going on today? Ah, hold on a second. Mute right. stream. Yes. Can you see me? I cannot see you. I see uh, Chris Hero, I think, elbowing someone in the face. Yes, that's yes all this is Chris Hero. That's all I see. <laughs> Try to get my mic on. Give me one second, please. All right. All right. Let's see. Give me a second. I'm. I've been waiting a long time Do you for, have some questions for this. Uh, what? Do you have some questions for Maya the B? You met yeah. Mr. Maya the B. I got a question. You met him uh, live in person. Do you remember this? Oh my gosh. Why, <laughs> why would you ask you. me that? What? Yes. I met yeah. both of you. Yeah, you met both of us. John was yes. the really polite one. I was the really kind of annoying guy. He knows he was there. You didn't have to tell him that. The first time I met John, he was like sitting on a table. You know, <laughs> look, he looked very drunk, very out of it. He was wow. like on himself, looking wow. to the sky. I wasn't was, drunk. Like, really I was just, I was, I was like, why, I was like, why am I here? He was drunk on life, staring into space. It was like really odd. Yeah. And I was like, just looking at him. I was like, what is he doing? <laughs> like, why is he here? Is he like, is he supposed to be here? <laughs> I was like, is he here against his will? What's he gets that on? everywhere he goes. I'm forced to be here. I'm a deep thinker, Mr. Mai the Bee. I, I, I look off into the sky and I ponder questions of humanity and, and death and life and love. That's what I do, my friend. Aww. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, there you go. I, I do have to say something. Yes. Well, tomorrow I'll be having my a tooth removed tomorrow. 
Yeah, you I've mentioned never had that before. Why are you having a tooth removed? Uh, what have, what's wrong with the tooth? Apparently, I have years and years of plaque under this tooth. How did the shop? You, has, don't, you don't floss? Uh, no, I do not. I do not floss. I don't see how flossing is very important. I don't see how what floss, flossing does to you. Hey, so. your own blood is the best mouthwash. <laughs> I've never flossed. So you're That's having a tooth flossing removed. Will bring it. Are you you're nervous about this? How did they put you like to sleep? How do they do it? How does it work? Are you awake during well, the process? Uh, I I hear it. I am supposed to be put to sleep. They're supposed to be doing. They're supposed to put me under with some experimental thing I've never heard of before. Experimental. So yeah. Yes. Yes. It puts you to sleep, but you can see everything going on around you. It's very odd. That doesn't sound ah. good to me. I don't like that. No, it does not. It sounds extremely scary. Do you have I to do this? Life. Are you are you maybe uh, not going to show up for this? Life. Hmm? Maybe you shouldn't go to this. Unfortunately, I have to because I, I made the appointment <laughs> and my dentist is a very angry old man and I know he's going to yell at me if I don't go there. Yeah. Yes. Wow. Well, let me tell you one also, thing, I didn't though. Pay the bill, so I didn't, I didn't pay same... this. Oh, sorry. So you're going to bill me. Mm -hmm. But, sir, don't make the same mistake I did when I got my teeth pulled. Having a milkshake is great. Just remember not to try and drink it through a straw. Whatever what? you do, do not use a straw after getting a tooth pulled. Oh, your, your camera's oh, oh. coming on now. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Can you see me? No, it's coming. There we go. Very nice. Ah, there I am. Yes, Very nice shirt. Am. Very nice shirt. There you go. Nice. Yes. So I want to talk to you about something, man. Uh, one of the best things I saw this year. You did your live reaction to Shaw's Man and Hole Punch. Yeah, my goodness. You recorded it. Oh, gosh. How'd you like, what gave you the idea to do that? Why'd you decide to do this? Uh, I just thought it would be really cool. I mean, I, I, didn't, I, I thought it would be really neat to have like a live reaction of something that you created. Yeah. It was I, amazing. I, I see everyone else do it to like really stupid things, really dumb things. Yeah, Why don't you do it to something that's awesome? Do it to something, something that's, that's good, not this crap that everyone yeah, else is doing. Yeah, something that has substance. You know, yeah. I mean, yeah. people do things for like Jersey Shore and have live reactions of that. Like, who cares about the Jersey Shore? People yeah, do that and even know that they did that. Well, wow. yes, they do. Episodes of Jersey Shore they have live reactions. You can look it up on YouTube. It's real. Wow. You've actually spent your time doing that. Uh, I'm not gonna do that. But uh, it was awesome to watch, man. It really made me feel good because, like, uh, like uh, you want the viewer to like do certain things or feel certain things when they watch it, and you, you seem to like hit on all those points. And I was like, oh, this is great. One of my favorite uh, moments in there was when a uh, hole punches uh, for I am hole punch and I punch holes. Like you kind of set it with him. Yeah. At the same time, I was like, oh, that, that, was, was, awesome. that was awesome. That like was it's beautiful. Nearly bringing a tear to my eye right now. Because yeah. that was just I like love, I love it. So I love it. Oh. Well, it's like John said, like, there, like I, I've been talking with John, like, he's like, oh, there's this thing that happens here and this thing that happens here, and I really hope that people react this way. And you nailed it. Oh, it was perfect. It really made me feel good because it's not something that gets, like, a million views or anything or, like, or gives us any kind of money at all, you know? So you, you got to try to find the, uh, you got to kind of find the victory in, in it because it's a battle to make it. So you have to kind of, when after it's done, you have to kind of try to work a little harder to find, like, the good of, like, why yeah. did we do this? And um, it's usually from you guys, like the reaction, and you especially like that. Just be okay. This is worth doing because look at this dude enjoying this, you know. So there you go. Thank you, sir. Very much. Wait, I do have one more thing. One yeah. more thing. Yeah. I promise I'll probably do this. Oh. It's pulling out something weird. All you guys have something weird. First thing's this. Everyone showed something weird, so I'll just show my little katana thingy I have. It's got nice. A oh, it's shi that's shiny, dude. Yes, it is. It's real. It's very sharp. Don't touch it. You're going to hurt yourself. I did it twice already. I have a very sharp wound in my hand. Yeah. Also, I have one more thing. I still have the t-shirt that you guys signed. I still have it. Oh, nice. No. Oh, man. But up ba 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 Maybe we're going to be at too many games again, maybe, this year. No, John? You going to that? <clears throat> uh, it's a bit out in the future, but we could we could figure that out, man. Yeah. Yeah, we did really well at that one. People seem to like us there. <laughs> you guys can really go to the UK. Go to Europe. 
You guys got a lot of fans in Europe. I got no cash I would to, love go to go to Europe. Believe me. There, there's no funding to go there. Oh, that's true. Yeah. You guys can, can create a, you know, like a uh, a funding thing. Yeah. Big for money. Oh. Yeah. Give us money so we can enjoy ourselves at a convention. It works. It works. We went big for way less. For way yeah. worse things. Yeah, we're not this doing that. You should do it. Give us I demand money. you do it. It reminds me of Allison yeah. Packard's video for funding our vacation. Well, Sir Mai the Bee demands us do it, so we have to do it. There's nothing to it then? We have to do it? We have to do it. All right, buddy. Thanks, man. Thanks for being there all the year with us. Thank you for not punching me in the face, even though I probably deserved it. We'll talk to you again soon, right, my friend. See ya. All right, buddy. Have a good one. Bye -bye. Good night. Okay. Wait, you dropped me. What the? I can't get... Hey. I can't hang up on you. It's so weird. You got to hang up yourself because I can't do it. What? <laughs> I can't hang up. You're at me. You can stay, I guess. I All you're doing is getting rid of me. I can't get rid of him. There's something get rid wrong. Of me. <laughs> put me. You already put me over. Get rid of me. You have to stay. I can't. I can't get rid of you. You have to stay. Will he stay? Oh, there we go. <laughs> I hang up on everyone. I don't know. I don't know. There's something wrong with it. John. I'm back. Yeah, I don't get I don't I don't know. I can't get rid of people. That is so weird. But you figured it out. You made it work. Yeah, oh my gosh, better. my face is huge. A huge face. A huge face. Who's left here? Can't really figure it out. Wait, I got so many people on the uh, contacts. Oh, hair. Let's see. John, apparently they can't hear me very well. Yeah, I'll fix it. All right, thank you. All right, we're gonna try to have S uh, SFT hair. We're trying to have hair on. Okay. I will fix the audio right now. Hold on. Thank you for pointing that out. Those of you that have done so. Appreciate it. Hello? 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 Hello to SFT hair with the Batman photo Let's over this there. Adam West Batman going on. His name is Adam West. Some might say that he's the best. Everyone was quite impressed with that bat thing on his chest. Hung up on us. Aw. Hmm. So we'll else. miss you, I think. Here's a great guy. I'd like to have him on if you can't get on. Um, sucks, but uh, he's been uh, supplying me with a, a steady stream of comics. It's like almost like a it's almost like a drug deal goes down. And he gives me my my product. Sad. And he even sends me messages. He goes, Your stuff is sent. Like it's all very, it's all very black market ish, you know. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's hooking me up with a lot of comics and, you know. Got me back into comics. I feel inspired. Comics? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's tough because there's been kind of a couple of bad periods. The New 52 did not make me very happy. Actually, John, if you want to have a crazy, con a pretty good conversation about uh, some of the New 52, Carl's oh, no. actually got crazy opinions that are kind of funny. I think you two would have a lot to talk about. Okay, maybe we'll set that up. Yeah. Well, anyway, yeah, I got me uh, back into comics, and uh, I definitely want to work on a comic, I think, uh, coming in the future. Maybe that's one of my goals for 2014. Well, I could definitely see you being able to handle the medium pretty well. Oh, really? You know it better than pretty much anyone else I know. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Is that how it is, huh? Here, you're not there, dude? Nah, man. All right, I'll try something else. Smart guy? You want smart guy? <sighs> if he's going to yell at me, then yeah, we're probably, going for Mr. Yes. Kyle Charles. He's oh, like, no. He's sending me like 75 pictures right now. Excuse me, but you're not supposed to send us photos of 
He's yourself. sending me like like uh, like they're they're all pending like transactions or. Whoa, downloads. whoa! Stay classy. <laughs> Send us photos. Oh, whoops! One sec. That was unexpected. Uh, those those uh, images are for your. Pornographic. Uh, hi. What are these photos, John? You better to... send them over me so I can make sure they're good enough for you. I just, so... you know, can I do this? Can I turn this device on? Are these pictures of you you're sending? What are they? Oh, oh God, face. Aha. Uh -huh. I just have something odd that I want to show everyone to contribute. Oh no. Besides the face. All right. <laughs> it's something I want to whip out for the members. This is where, <laughs> this is where we get banned. This is the end of the show right here. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is this? This is the best thing ever. Is it a diaper? What is that? No, that's awesome. <laughs> and I wish I could run into the other room and get mine. John, you're so old. You don't know what this is. I don't know. I don't know what anything is anymore. It's like no, no. I would totally grab that from my corner shelf right now if I had time. I'm sorry. Please don't. Um. Oh wait. Oh crap. Wait. I had a list of things. Oh, it's like an interview. Okay. Uh, no. Well, just. Some things I have to remember because I get nervous when I talk to you and my mind just goes blank. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm very important. I mean, important, John so. is rather imposing, but you can take him. He's half your size. I'm very important. I'm very smart and it's difficult oh to speak with me in a normal way. That's not true. Okay. <laughs> uh, I just have a quick question because it's the question that I've always wanted to ask. Yeah, go ahead. Sure. Are you ever going to return to TV superstars? Return to TV superstars? <laughs> I can't do it. I don't have the. I don't have any of the stuff. <laughs> that's true um, it's possible right. I mean you know if it's, if it's if that's what the people want if that's what you want I don't care about anyone else actually. Wants, after, every, after your first time I've watched that playthrough literally five times and it's chewed me up from like the worst days I've had do you want me to do uh -huh. it again because you, you, you hate it or you like it I don't what know that's a, that's a tough question actually okay Those were, that was the old days man that was the wild west back then you know you just kind of did anything then we became corporate, you know, and then we started... Became corporate. We became corporate, and, you know, we, ha we can't do that anymore. It's you got to please well, the sponsors now, and we have to... Exactly. Yeah. The watch sponsors. what you say and everything. It's just... Sponsors, I mean. Yeah. All right. What's the next question? Um, oh, yeah. My friend... Well, it's not a question, but my friend was talking to me because he said, like, holy crap, you're on the show. Yeah. This is the guy who actually injected me with the digital gonorrhea. Without him, I would not be here. <laughs> yeah. This is something you just start <laughs> saying one day. Out in public. <laughs> yep, mad because I didn't mention it. But anyways, um, he noticed that you might have gotten like upset when I said OJ is my favorite. Yeah, I was a little upset. Wait, wait. But then I realized how how much of a douche move that is because you've done so much. Yeah, you, you were kind of a jerk. Yeah. I know. Wait, but it's I a jerk to... if someone says they like me. Shut up, OJ. I'm sorry. Right. Very, you, yes, you are able. To, you are allowed to speak to him that way. That is fine. It's just the reason why he's my favorite is because the way you make fun of him is just hilarious. So oh, I don't make like, fun of him at all. He's he's my favorite because of you. Yeah, we're we're a team. It's a team. It's a teamwork thing. You know. Yeah, right? I, I get all egotistical, and then he brings me back down to reality, and then when I'm back down in reality, he brings me down lower. And you're kind of a jerk, like I don't know. Sometimes you are. Or some some of the things you say are well, like too far. And what's, you're a, what's an crazy. example? What's an example too far? <laughs> what's as a child? Is that maybe what some? <laughs> or, or just kind of like a, a man child sometimes. Yeah. OJ is a man child. You can't really yes. define what OJ is. He's, he is OJ. There's no other way to really. You can't really say he's this or that, you know? I don't he's like a time lord or something. He's an entity know. Know upon himself. Did you say I need to have a tumbler? No, you're a time lord. That's, that's your race. You're not human. Yeah, don't give that away. I'm going to get like taken by everybody. That's true. That's true. Do you have any more uh, questions here? Is this a, a whole thing here? Oh well, I don't know. I don't know if you guys mind, but it. I don't. Oh, okay. Well, I have these tweets because you know how OJ uses Twitter so much. Yeah, yeah, he's all over that. I, I have these tweets saved that he didn't respond to. Oh wow, wow, wow! I wow. haven't. All right, well, uh, please respond to him now and be a, an adult for, for sure? once. Is that okay? I, okay, I only have seven. Okay, like, go I'm, ahead. Okay. First, I just want, I'm going to read them out, and then OG's going to respond to them on the air. I haven't responded yeah. on Twitter in, like, a month. Yeah. I'm terrible. All right, here we First, go. Actually, I wanted you to read this. Happy Father's Day, OJ. You were always like a dad to me. I even think you banged my mom. Thanks for everything. <laughs> All right, what's your response, yeah. John? Well, I you didn't want to find me. Whoa, 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 You have to do it in the Twitter characters. 140, I think. Is that it? <sighs> oh, my gosh. Hurry up. Well, I didn't want her to find me, but thanks. Don't tell her. Okay, there you go. Next one. Yeah. 
So I'm going to skip some of these. Uh, oh, uh, good night, OJ. I hope I have erotic dreams about you. Would you? All right, there you go. Well, nice, good, good night to you too, and oh, I hope okay. I don't have erotic dreams, but regular ones. <clears throat> OJ, I agree with you. Winter is awesome. Winter is the best. Summer is terrible. Yay, is, snow. There's no bugs, and you should be a Canadian. You are a Canadian because you're super nice and you yeah. love the winter. Um, I'm actually possible. My dad can't decide if I'm French Canadian, Canadian, or French people who moved to Canada. Is that I'm different? French Canadian. I'm one eighth, one of those three that I just listed. Okay. Well, okay. Here's the next. But one. unfortunately, my family in Canada is from Newfoundland, I think. So that's kind of Remember like way there. You always get carried on. A little time. Yeah. See, we're I'm trying to move the show it. forward, and you're slowing it down, John. All right, keep going, Kyle Charles. Mother's Day, OJ. You were always like a mother to me. Thank you. Well, I'd give you a hug if you needed one, or maybe a cookie or a glass of milk. That's perfect. From a cow. That's true, too. This one I really wanted you to see. There was a, an advertisement I took a screenshot of, and it was a picture of Zik headphones. It was spelled Z-I-K. Wow. I it was Zik. Yeah, you missed out on that, and that's I pretty much read all the ones I wanted to show you. So Wait, seriously? How did I miss that? Because <laughs> you're so, I don't know, old. Maybe. Yeah. We're all caught up now with the tweets. Are you satisfied now with the responses you got? Or maybe they're not good enough? Or what do you think? Do you rate them maybe? Are you satisfied? Oh, I don't okay. Know. I don't know. I, sorry. Just Mr. Kyle Charles, what are you looking forward to in 2014? Do you have any plans? Do you have any big dreams? Uh, yes, big dreams. Going to uh, the UK is my dream. And nice. finding and locating the Ramborsian doorman, mm -hmm. taking off that mask of perversion <laughs> and sanity, or insanity, sorry. What kind know. of a mask does he have? It seems like it's kind of like my face that he molded into a sort I, of a... I think it's supposed to be like a Guy Fox mask with your yeah. like a, a John Rambo mask. Okay. Is, I'm not the Ramborsian doorman. You're not. So you're, if you found him, what mask okay. would you put on him? You're denying that you're him now. Like, I, I just, like, I don't, mu it's kind of a compliment, but I'm not him. I'm better than that. You're better um, than him. Ouch. I don't know. He is a pretty good writer, dude. Yeah, he is, but. There's many okay. rumors as to who it is. So people said it was me, actually, or OJ. There was rumors about I'm kind that. I'm thinking it's Smart Guy. People think it might be Smart Guy. People think it's uh, Mark Crown. They think it's Bob Saget. <laughs> they think it's maybe a clergy member of the Catholic Church. It could be uh, some sort of uh, a priest, maybe, is doing well, this. My we bowels are tingling just talking about this. So. It's someone in a, in a disgusting, <laughs> bastardized mask of me. And he's I out just of think mind. It's no. Maybe it's no one at all. Maybe he doesn't exist. We're all just, it's just in our minds so that we see, even see his tweets or anything. Dun, dun, dun. There's lots of there's, like, oh, there's probably a whole book like this, this thick about uh, theories about uh, the doorman. So. Cal Charles, you're right. You are my favorite moment of 2013 is you as a, a human <sighs> and i really love your channel madhead productions so bad thank you no it's, it's it's great work man i don't want you to ever stop doing your stuff i probably will but yeah <laughs> you might i don't want you to do that i think you got a, a great future ahead of you sir mm -hmm. no, i was no. talking to john about this we talk about you in private this is this actually happened i'm not even joking <laughs> And I said, have you seen this dude's videos? And I said, if, if I was like his age and I, I was doing this stuff then, I'd be like pretty almost good now at it, right? Because I'm still trying to figure it out now. Yeah, well, kind of yeah. like, you know, I have fun with cameras and stuff. Even though they're really stupid, silly videos, I, I enjoy editing and stuff. Like, I have the patience to do that. Even yeah. though they're really bad, I kind of have fun doing that. You got the drive, my friend. You got yeah. the talent, you got the skill. And just keep it going because you're going you're gonna to be doing good things. Okay. You got a head start on us. You, 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 you're like, to be incredibly nerdy, you're like Gohan's potential. Well, like John was kind of, you know, up he, there. He's John, or John Rambo said that uh, he only puts out videos that he thinks are good. Yeah. So that kind of inspired me to make like things that aren't like complete crap, just kind of crap, but you can kind of see something out of that. Well, you know, don't, don't, um, don't take my, my, Things I say too seriously. I know. I'd try not. I didn't, I didn't, if I, I did, I'd probably have punched myself. In the I didn't face mean it. I don't mean that in the way that's like if it's your videos, if, if it's not good, don't put it out. If you think it's, if you think it's good, you think there's something I in there, I don't. then put that's it out. Well, sometimes I get impatient and I kind of just want to put there's, it out there. It's not. It's not. I don't mean like um, like you made something and you don't think it's good, don't put it out. I mean like don't put things out just to be like a whore, 
<laughs> right? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, don't don't spam things. Don't put up things that you're just trying to get paid off of or you think is yeah. going to be popular that you don't really like yourself. Right? That's, that's more what I mean. I don't mean, like, it has to be a certain quality or it should not exist. That's well, not my point. That's what I'm trying to say. Certain quality. <laughs> There has to be a standard, but yeah, I know what you mean. You can put out whatever you want to put out, okay? Don't, don't listen to me. True. But just don't, uh, my thing is, like, don't put out stuff, like, like just, you know, to try to, to, to be something you're not, or to, to, to try to make a buck or whatever. That's not, that's not what it's supposed to be about. Yeah, I know. Right? It's supposed to be art, man. It's supposed to have some, you know, exactly. some pride art. in your art, right? Yeah, yeah, I think, yeah, yeah. There's lots of things to say about that. There we go. Mr. Cal Charles, thank you. You gonna drink that now? Uh. <laughs> Drink it. I don't know. I'm going to share it with the, the Rambor's doorman and smart guy. Oh, wow. Very uh, nice. It's over. All right, buddy. Wait, one last thing. I just want to hang up first. So. What happened? I, I just want to hang up first before you do on me. Uh, I will oh. call you back. Okay. I want to hang up on you. Go ahead. Do it. I was going to tell him to tell me off before he hangs up. Aw. You know? That would be pretty funny. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. We got a few more people trying to get through. Who we got? A couple more. Let's go with uh, Lambent. Lambent. Okay. All right. What's going on? Well, well yeah, that was, was like the fastest reaction. The fastest ever. of the night. Yeah, I heard myself on the stream, and I'm like, damn, I got to click this as fast as I can. That, you, you should get a prize for that or something. A free t-shirt would be more than acceptable. I don't know. You might want to <laughs> That's think about department. it. That's the Oh, dear Bob. <laughs> oh, do you want to say anything about the t-shirts? Because people might want the shirts. They can't get them right now. Do you want, is, can they yeah, like, send you an email be, or something? I'm going to send, yeah, if you guys need one, send me an email. I can check the stock right now. I'm, I'm working on uh, setting up a new store. Yeah, so you go to stayballsy.com, send us an email, and then we could try to set something yep. up on PayPal or whatever. But yeah, or john at geekfiregifts.com. Lambank gets, gets a free shirt. Oh, damn. Wait, what? Lambank gets a free shirt. He won the prize for the fastest pickup of the night. You guys still have Project 7 shirts laying around? Yeah, there's like 7,000 of them, actually. <laughs> you want, like, 20? Yeah, why not? I could use them as uh, noise canceling uh, for my mic and stuff. Aww. We should do something, maybe, uh, like, a buy one, get, like, five or, or something. Like that. Yeah, you can just design your walls with them. That's what they used to do with old that. German currency and not stuff. Not my walls. You know? Somebody else hey, wants to someone, do Yeah, someone else's. I'm not doing maybe, that. Maybe donate them. Yeah, donate them to, like, Africa, and then yeah. and then you'll see a bunch of videos with a bunch of African kids with Project 7 shirts on. Oh, wow, yeah. Donate, we could donate them all. Yeah. Okay, we should do that, John. That's actually a thing we could do, yeah. Just donate a donation of, like... I wonder I if it's tax-deductible. Oh, don't do that. Come on. I mean, it could be, you know. Yeah, yeah. Get some of your money back. Well, we didn't pay for those. <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay, hold on. Well, I know, I have no financial stake in, it, in that stuff, so I don't, <laughs> I don't really care. But, Mr. Lambent, how are yes. you? How are you doing? I, I'm doing pretty good. It's been a while since I've uh, been like around. I guess I kind of, kind of uh, just left. But yeah, I've been doing good. <laughs> What do you mean you just left? What happened? Is something in free, free well, reaching? I don't know. Because in the early days of the live shows, like Cyber Demon and I were always here, and now we're just gone. <laughs> you, know what, you know what I noticed with you yeah, guys, though? Like, you guys. Yeah, you guys were always there, but you know what happened? Like, You guys started doing your own stuff. Yeah, I guess we so, grew a bit. Yeah, you guys um, grew, and you're like, I'm not going to watch this guy's thing. I'm going to do my own show or my own uh, streams and stuff like that. John, what are you doing? Nothing. Why are you doing that? I like your eyes. They look nice. I'm doing? trying to do. Are you the... trying to do what he's doing? Yeah. Oh yeah, so. that's Nicholas Cage's face on a cat. Nick Cage is everyone. Yeah, he's he's amazing. <laughs> so you've been doing like your own streams, and why don't you tell us about what you've been doing and where people can watch yeah. it? Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, 
after the whole copyright fiasco, I started a new channel and then I started streaming. A copyright been, fiasco? What is this? What the what? Well, I mean, it wasn't copyright. It's more just Google hating the fact that I signed up for AdSense while under the age of 18 and then not oh. allowing me to resubmit a form because they don't have <laughs> customer support. And yeah, you just kind of have to start a new channel at that point. Oh. So, <laughs> yeah, I, I started a new channel, and I've just been doing, like, live playthroughs and stuff and streaming when I feel like it. That's basically what I've been doing since, like, summer. What kind so, of stuff you playing? Yeah. Uh, I've been playing a lot of Pokemon recently, and then... Uh, X and Y? No. If I had the money for a 3DS capture card, I would, but, man, those things are, like... I think oh, they're, like, exists. 400 bucks at this Holy point. So. Wow. Yeah, they're pretty crazy. Damn. Yeah, and uh, I just been playing. Uh, I just started playing a mod of Pokemon Soul Silver, and oh. then I played Emerald and Crystal. I've been I've been playing all the classics. So, yeah, and the whole Lambent Cast thing has still been going strong. That's not live yet, but we'll see. And you're doing the Gamer Talk Live. We found out tonight. You're the you're one of the hosts now. Yeah, I'm a. I I was announced as the third host, so yeah, yeah. I've been having a lot of fun with that because those two guys they're dinosaurs, so they needed some young blood. <laughs> no offense to you guys either, but you yeah, they were older than they are. Blood, I think. You know, yeah. uh, my well, day. Maybe you guys are all around the same age, and it just it turned out that I have a very different viewpoint on a lot of new gaming stuff because I'm right. from a different era, basically. That's so. how it goes, man. Don't don't let these old guys uh, tell you because we, we like to be like, oh, we we saw this and that, we know everything. <laughs> no, don't, don't don't listen to that crap. You yeah, know? so tell that's just kind of yeah, that's just how I've been on Gamer Talk Live, just telling them how it is and stuff. And right, yeah, right, we've right. been having a lot of fun. We have a nice little community. If any of you guys want to hang out there, we're welcoming to any new people. So uh, if you just want to click on Nate's name in the chat and follow it. And, wow, there you go, yeah. Yeah, and, and we'd love to have you guys on at any point, like oh, whenever. Because we're, we're always on Saturdays at 8 yeah. p.m. So I don't know if there's any a day where you're like, Oh, I feel like talking to people, then you guys can hit us up. <laughs> that's pretty much never for me. I like just being in the dark. Yeah, you know? I know that feel. Oh, yeah, that's what I do. But, uh, I'm never home. Sometimes you got to talk to people. <laughs> yeah, don't don't uh, find a place in your schedule for us. But if it's convenient, you know, we'll, we'll love to have you guys on. I'm so far gone. Like, it's crazy because, like, the games were such a big thing for me. Like, I've... Like it was my my job. Like I worked in game retail, and then uh, I did competitive games, and then I played yeah. like everything. And now now it's like so weird. Like I play um I'm playing Lego Marvel. I play it for like a half <laughs> hour every night before I go to bed. Like that's like that's it. There's yeah, no, I don't, no I don't know. I and, feel like games are getting kind of played out for me too. Because yeah. ever since I started like trying to record them and stuff, like I can't do the whole sit down and play for like eight hours or something ridiculous like that. Yeah, just, right, right. yeah, yeah. It's you got well, you got to find that magic game that that uh, like captures your imagination, where it's like you 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 have to be playing it and you think about playing it when you're doing other things. And like, you know, yeah, it comes yeah, around it, once in a while. Once in a while, you get once in a it. great while. Yeah. Chrono Trigger is really good in that regard. It's pretty sweet story-wise, but it didn't yeah, capture great. me back, back like, quite like that, yeah. but it's got a great story. Yeah, I tried playing that game. I don't know. I I, I have a really hard time playing older games because I'm just too used to the hand-holding and like, the casualness of games today. Yeah. Mm. yeah. It, it kind of, it's kind of weird, even like even though we played those games when we were kids, to go back and play them. It's like, what the hell? <laughs> this is what they <laughs> yeah. did. Like I don't remember it like this. What the you know? This is this is brutal. Where do I go? There's no thinking? map. Or telling you Final where Fantasy IV. But we got screwed a lot. Like there was there were certain games like you didn't know a lot about what was out, and you just kind of got what you, you went to the store and like you saw what was there and you got stuff. And a lot of times you pay money for things that were crap. You know? You yeah. Even play like a just Spider Man, the X Men, or Cage Revenge. You ever play that? Oh gosh. Oh I, gosh. I remember being so excited like Spider Man, the X Men in a game. It's incredible. Then you bring it home, and it's just like it's, you can't play the game. It's impossible. <laughs> it's like no. Well, I better get just, used to this game because this is yeah, all you're dead. Be. <laughs> right, that's that's all you're gonna have for like months until your your parents would be like, okay, we can get a game for your birthday again. Yeah, well, it's good that we live in a market now where people who don't have a lot of money can still buy a lot of games because there's just so many more games out there and so, so many more ways to 
play them and there's more ways to play yeah. them there's more ways to buy them there's more Look, everything you could, more honestly if you, if you have an android phone or a pc you could just throw like three dollars at the humble bundle and get like five games yeah i i put like two years into league of legends and paid like five dollars. <laughs> like yeah. there's just so many great free to play games. Too, especially oh yeah, League with- of Legends. Like for some reason, I stopped playing for six months and like, oh no, come back here, have a free champion. I'm like, really? <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's I like just... anyone can play games now. It's pretty awesome. Oh yeah, and then there's free web games too. <laughs> Kingdom of Loathing. It's That's crazy because there was a time not like when I was in school, like you played games, people would like look down on you, like. I play game. I remember being on like a game, like when the the net like was first coming in. I was on like some, it was probably like IGN or something, in like the late nineties, and people were like, "You're looking at games, like you're some kind of." Yeah. And that was now it's like the biggest shit ever, right? Bigger yeah. Than, like, bigger than the movie industry and everything. So now people are hating on people for not playing the hardcore games or vice versa. <laughs> you don't play so. enough games. Look at Just play. I want to be the guy or Super Meat Boy, and then yell about it. Yeah, I was I a little know, bit before I, my uh, my time. I think if I was like f- born five years later, I would have been fine. But I liked games, and I was like, "Oh, you're weird." Yeah, comics, I, games, I and comics, and I was I like, just, "Comic movies are the biggest thing. Games are the biggest thing." Yeah, so, I don't know. I'm big into the whole, you know, like there shouldn't be elitism that comes with being a gamer. Like it shouldn't matter about how, how long you've been playing games. Like you should be accepting of everyone that plays games because a lot of elitists have sprung up over the years who really do not like how uh big their prized hobby has become because you know it's just my thing how dare you do it too if you weren't playing wizardry 4 on the original pc then you've got problems this is for me and my five friends or whatever everyone else can go fuck themselves yeah it's really a control price game then i'm gonna i'm gonna never live it down or and all this stuff, it's just crazy. Yeah, it's out of control. I really want no part of like any of that stuff, you know, like, um, I don't know, it's just really nuts. Yeah. And yeah. If, even if you do playthroughs and stuff, people are like, you don't, you're not playing this properly, you're supposed to be like this, or, or, uh, you shouldn't, you shouldn't <laughs> be playing this game, it's crap, you play this. And... Yeah, I've actually, like, I don't know, I like it a lot when someone tells me that I'm playing their favorite game wrong or that I'm doing their <laughs> game, yeah. I'm not doing their game justice because right. they're actually getting mad about me playing a game and having fun with it which is really funny <laughs> it's like come on man yeah how dare you, you enjoy this fish. game he, i mean he could probably play the game himself if he hates how people are doing it yeah why is he watching it. let's plays of a game he loves if he's just gonna hate on the people playing it yeah that's the weird thing about let's plays and playthroughs and streams and all that mm-hmm. like, i don't understand why there's room for backseat gaming because you know you could just literally walk over and play the game yourself if it's so cringe worthy how I'm playing it, you know. Yeah, yeah, you know, they seek out, they seek it out. Like they're looking for people, and uh, they want to feel you know, like they're better than you, you know. So, yeah, I just insulting. I don't give people the pleasure of yeah. of taking me down. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> there you go. Absolutely. Well, <laughs> Mr. Lambent, we wish you a happy holidays and everything. Um, happy New Year. Happy you New two Year. guys, keep your keep. Keep up the good work and make sure Osman Hole punch the biggest web series of all time. <laughs> we'll do I our best. Do, I don't know how to do that, but uh, I think you guys have it in you. Yeah, I don't know how to do any kind of promotion and stuff. I just I don't know. Yeah, idea I don't know. You, really you got gotta, you, yeah. gotta, you gotta kiss the asses and, and suck the balls of, of a lot of people. I think I don't know. I mean, you got fifty six awesome people right now in the stream who promote your stuff. You just yeah. need to make it, and the people come. And then they cool spread fun. it. That's the great thing about the internet. Mm. There you go, man. All right. Thanks, buddy. Thank you so much. Uh, say hi to Cyber Demon and uh, yeah. welcome all the stuff you're Shout doing. Shout outs to Layla as well. Oh, of course. <laughs> Aww. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll say hi to Cyber Demon. I think he's, he's streaming right now, actually. So I'll, I'll drop in and tell him you guys said hi. All right. Great. Thank you. Okay. Nice. See you guys later. Talk to you later. Have a good night. Bye. Yeah. Phew. There's like a few people I feel upset to not uh, have them. I don't know how we're going to swing this time-wise. Yeah. You want to go and I can just keep going? I can't just I can't just leave you, dude. <laughs> if you have to go, you could go. I could just, I'll do another 20 minutes. 
Oh my gosh. There's at least... Let's see, there's a few people. Just, just do it, man. Let's go. Okay, let's see. We are calling. Jubaka. If you are still awake. Jubaka. <laughs> Want to make sure everyone gets, you know, gets their time. Yep. Hello. Whoa. Hello, Loudness. sir. Hello. What is up? How you doing, Jubaka? I'm doing good. Welcome. That's beneficial. Oh wait. To you. To the show. Scared the fuck out of me. <laughs> OJ scaring you? Is that what you said? Oh yeah, OJ scaring me with those eyes. Oh, oh is there's this a lot better? Of love. There's a lot of love in those eyes. Oh yes. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? <laughs> and, Mr. Jubaka. Uh, I got um some news for you. Yes. Oh ho. Um, me and a couple of my friends, we actually enjoy your content. We are making a Schnozman and Hole Punch 3D video game. Whoa. You're making a video game of Schnozman and Hole Punch. Nice. Yes. And it's completely free. I like this free. Is, this is basically our thanks to you and your content and all the work. We're like um, working diligently about this. Um, taking our time. Also, uh, for a character model, I'm actually um, taking a picture of y'all, modeling it up, and putting it in Skyrim. Oh. oh. Wow. So, Interesting. Well, that sounds, that sounds amazing, sir. Keep us posted about that. Um, I, will, I will keep it posted. Is this something that you like to do? You like, do you make you make games before? Is this something you're well, into? Something I'm into, something I always wanted to get into, it's basically like... I remember this day, like, um, me and my brother, we shared one PS1. We were playing Need for Speed 3 Hot Pursuit. And then I went to go talk to my dad saying, oh, I want a PS4, a PS3, a PS, oh my god, I can't talk, PS1. All of a sudden, he brought out a PS1 out of, from the table. I was like, what the fuck? And I was in shock. And like, and I know, like, this is what I want to do for the rest of my life. Just make people happy with the content I put out. Yeah, yeah. Awesome, so, man. So that's something you nice. want to be doing with yourself. You want to be a game designer, a Kojima. Game designer, yes. A Kojima. A Kojima. Yes. Well, Kojima makes movies, not games. No, those, those, <laughs> are, those <laughs> are games. <laughs> How dare you, John? Can't contain my Pope right now. How dare you say that? <laughs> KWO will find you. Don't you know oh, that? yes. <laughs> OJ will always... KWO will find everyone. Yeah. I actually talked to him on uh, YouTube once. He actually, um, he's actually really nice. Who is this? YouTube. Like, I was just basically like saying like, not defending Phil, like kind of seeing like their point of view. I was talking to him and he actually like saying like, yeah, I see what you're going at. And like, I see that as like a positive thing. I see everything in a positive light. You're talking like, about, you're, uh, you're talking about, you, you spoke to Kojima? Yes. <laughs> My response to Kojima yeah. saying that um, his games are good, but yeah. he need me, needs to be a director. Mm. Uh. A Japanese director. I want him to direct Godzilla. Yeah, right. Yeah. Um, yeah, I can't, I'm actually a big Godzilla fan, big Japanese monster fan. Yeah, I'm a big fan too, actually. Um, well, the, uh, the actually the original. From the yeah. 50s, it's like one of my favorite movies of, of ever. Like, you watch that now. Yeah. I, have the, I got the, uh, they did a Blu-ray of it. Really? Um, yeah, but if you if you watch that now, it's like still amazing. Like, it's it's great. Oh, yeah. Um, I, I actually really want to watch that again. Um, I watched it on VHS like 10 years ago, and I got hooked. Mm -hmm. and yeah, if you I watch the original uh, Gojira, the Japanese version. Yeah, yeah wasn't original that uh, original? I think that was like named after like one of the director's friends. Got yeah, if I'm not mistaken. Huh. And and that's how they got named Godzilla. Okay. Huh. I got uh, yeah. It was actually named after a person. I know that for a fact. <laughs> right on, right on. 
And then like so, some yeah. of the, some of the later stuff I think I like to watch are like Final was it uh, Final War or something? Or... Yeah, Final Wars was uh I heard from a few people that are, that is pretty good. Yeah. I actually played uh, Godzilla. One, yeah, we, we watched one. Back Remember John watched the Godzilla movie recently or Yeah, you? I don't remember which one it was though. Yeah. It was a newer Hopefully one. Yeah, Hopefully yeah. it was not the Matthew Broderick one. No, 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 no. That was on TV like two days ago, by the way. I I, I saw it for like a second and I just had to tr- I turned the whole TV off and plugged it from the wall. Just ran away from both the room. Like it. It was I supposed to be new one this summer, I think, or, or, two, or 2015, uh, yeah, 2014. is it? It's 2014. Okay. Um, yeah, uh, I got. Um, I went to Blockbuster with my dad to go get Godzilla 2000, and that was like one of the best dates I ever had. Because I saw that. Mm-hmm. That movie. And it, it blew the fuck out of me. Like... <laughs> I, I saw the Matthew Broderick one, and I was just like, oh, no. Yeah. And I saw Godzilla 2000, was like the epiphany of, like, the Holy Trinity and, like, all the stars aligned. Right, right. Just holding up the tape, becoming, um, I think it's opening up the Ark of the Covenant. Yeah. <laughs> all right, Mr. Jubaki, we got to go. We got to uh, try all to right. get everyone a all chance. People, all right. I'm in to call. It's good to finally talk to you, though. I've been, uh, oh, he's gone. Okay. Well, uh, anyway, if you're still listening, it was, uh, it was good to talk to him. I've been uh, speaking with him online uh, for quite some time. So to actually hear the voice of the man. Yeah. That's a very uh, interesting username that he has there. It very much is. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> John's ready to collapse. I'm you okay. Go, you have to go. Just stop asking me and let's go get some callers. <laughs> LRC. Call LRC. Hello, you can, you can handle it, John. We're taking a nice break after next Good week. Good evening, so. gentlemen. Hello, sir. I see How you're are a you fan of that? Dan Aykroyd. Oh, yes. Yes, I am. I can tell from your bottle. Can you? Ah, whoops. Oh, is that the uh, the accurate stuff? Yes, yeah. it is. Good stuff. John's been drinking that, right? Uh, yeah. I bought it for like people as gifts. You got the signed Can version. You see me? Yeah. Uh, yes. Whoa. Good. Oh my gosh, you actually had that there. <laughs> yes, yes, I do. Has there ever been live drinking on the show before? I don't think so. I don't think so. But for all we know, that could totally be water. We don't endorse anything. Could I be. like water? He doesn't seem I like he's drinking water. <laughs> <laughs> Hard saying with me sometimes. How's it going in uh, New England up there? Cold. Work? Yeah, it's getting it was cold. cold this morning. Yeah, it's really great. Like when you have to get up to go to work, you're all motivated. Like I'll just go out in the frigid weather and just plow yeah, through. Yeah, it's like six in the morning, and I got to get up and scrape the windows of my car. Oh, that's great. Oh, and you only oh, got a couple great. months of it to go. Yay! <laughs> yeah, it's kind of weird, right? Mm, that it is. It's pretty annoying. Uh, but it's better than melting in the sun, waiting for the air conditioner to turn on, getting stuck to your seat. Nah, not really. Yeah, I agree. But then again, I was uh, I was bailing hay this summer, so what do I know? Wow. Good job. Yeah, it's a good job. I, I need I need a good job. Maybe I could I could do that with you. Maybe. <laughs> I know a place in Massachusetts. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, you might uh, see me there one day. You'd be like, "Oh, I, I know you." I'm like, yeah, you're John Rambo. You seem familiar. I'm like, "Oh, I work here." <laughs> yeah. YouTube thing didn't work out. Doing this now. That's yeah. so how I got my Pontiac on the road briefly. Then YouTube? it snowed. No, no, no. Working on the farm. Oh, okay. <laughs> but the Pontiac was on YouTube briefly as well. Oh. And then the snow happened. Yes. Snow. <laughs> Yeah, snow will make You're your speaking cars. Speaking very cryptically today, yes. I'm you trying will, to be quiet. Other people are will, trying to sleep. Oh, I'm your sorry. De- your demise is I'll coming. Be quiet yes. too. Why are they I'll asleep? Isn't it uh, kind of early? Everyone here goes to bed early, and In the whole, I'm generally a night the whole owl. The state, the whole town, or, or your home? Just the house. Oh, okay, your household. Mm. <laughs> well, <laughs> you should just go in their room and just pour some of that on their face. <laughs> While With holding a match. <laughs> yep. Hey, you, don't, you have the right idea. Yeah, don't actually light them on fire, though. Uh, we get some lighting going here. That would be here. bad. All right. Do I have a lighter nearby? No, I don't. 
Uh, so a while ago, you guys were talking about Black Friday shopping. Yes. I bought myself a Dreamcast. Uh, Where'd you get this from? How much was it? Was it? On, and it was like 40 bucks. came with all of the cables and everything. How's the condition on it? Um, pretty good. Fired right up. Asked me for the date and time when I first started it up. Yeah. You know, the Dreamcast is like... I've been asleep for so long. What year is it? It's like Jumanji. It's like Robin Williams just popped out of what, Jumanji. What's, He's the, just like, what's the default um, date that comes up? Was it 1990 something? Or? 1998, November 12th, I do believe. You just kept it at that. Maybe <laughs> you would travel back in time with it. It's actually got a little Ethernet cord so I could plug it in and hook it up to the internet. <laughs> oh, it's wow. It's like PS3 before it was the PS3. It's sad. You oh, had, had a lot Sega. of... Yeah. Had, had like remember the Sega TV channel? They had a lot of different uh, innovative ideas that they just couldn't quite do, but they mm. they were trying, you know. You got to give them credit for trying. Yeah, it's um, I think a little piece of us all died when uh, if you lived through that era of the early '90s when Sega stopped with the consoles, like a little piece of you died. I think if you were a gamer from that time. Well, I was. That's a little, that's a little dramatic, maybe. You no. Know? A little bit before me, but I'm okay. going back and reliving everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I have the controller right here. Oh, it's the official? Is that official controller? Yeah, is it's it? official. It says Dreamcast on the top, and okay. all the buttons work. What are you playing on the Dreamcast? Any specific uh, game? Nothing yet, because none of the games have arrived. <laughs> <laughs> you just they go had, to the menu and just look at it. They had some really good fighting games on it. Yeah, I made sure I ordered Soul Calibur and a couple of others. Power Stone. Oh, no, I don't, I don't like Power Stone. Capcom vs. SNK2. You used to beat me at Power Stone. That was the only game Garou, you Mark you of the Wolves. Because the whole game is like you get the thing, you run away, and then it was yeah. just really annoying to me. That just drove me crazy. Mm. But it worked. Characters are stupid. They're like, they're like monkeys or something. What is it? A little they're girl and a monkey monkeys. or something? I'll have to give it a look. Take and a look I'll, at it. Take a look. I'll probably buy it on Amazon after Christmas. <laughs> yeah, there's a, there's a lot of cool games, man. Uh, mm. Ika, Ika Ruga was on there first before the GameCube. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <sighs> it was good stuff. Oh, yeah, and the Typing of the Dead, of course. How could I forget? <laughs> the the Typing of the Dead. A friend of mine did a Let's Play of that. Yeah. I have the Japanese version for the PC. It's Speaking hilarious. Of Japanese games, you were looking for a Japanese RPG to play. Yeah. I'm just going to recommend one because I've been playing it nonstop because I absolutely love it. It's this little PlayStation 1 game called Racing Lagoon. And basically, you assume the role of a street racer in Japan, and, well, that's basically where it leaves you off. You're in Japan, you get a little Japanese Toyota Corolla, and you go around mm -hmm. racing people. And it's RPG fashion in the sense of you can take equipment from other vehicles like engines and drivetrains wow. and body shells, and you can customize everything, and it's great. Wow. That's pretty cool. One of the greatest days of my entire life, and this is kind of a terrible thing to say, but... One of the best days of my life was when the Dreamcast, when they cracked the games, and we found out about it. John was part of this. Don't act like you weren't. I'm not. <laughs> and they, they found out that you could just, you know, burn all the games to disc. And this was like 2000, maybe, something like that. And um, there was one day that our, our neighbor, our other, other neighbor, had like 100 games all burned to disc and just showed up at John's house. And we just went through all the games. And some of them we didn't under, even know what the hell was going on. They're Japanese. One was like a train. And we couldn't even like, start. Simulator. We couldn't even start the train for like an hour. We just sat there push, pushing every button. But it was probably one of the most fun days ever because imagine just all these games at once, you know. Just take it out, pub like it in, fun. take it out. It was it was unbelievable. Of I course, that's what killed that. Sega in the end. But you know, there you go. Mm. Yeah. I'm probably going to try that now. I've got a spare thing of CDs somewhere. Yeah, you can't actually do it. I I don't know uh, if like the I don't know. Don't don't get any viruses and stuff though. But. I'll be fine. No, you want the official stuff. You don't want that. That I do, but just just, just got to try it first. Yeah. They also had a VCD player. You just burned them right to a disc. It was ridiculous. <laughs> oh, it, wasn't, it was insane. Just the, it would take like, a, like, a, like at that time too. Think about it. Mm -mm. You just burned them to a disc and stuck it in. <laughs> and it worked. <laughs> and it worked. Magic. It was like, what? Simple as one, two, three. Yeah, those days are long gone. Yeah, now you've got DRM this and oh, yeah. RIAA that. Yeah, uh, just don't get us started, please. I'll try not to. Well, a friend Mr. of mine has found a very good way of dealing with copyright law, and that's by breaking it entirely. <laughs> just ignoring uh, it. Aw. Go Snide. <laughs> Snide's a good man. 
Yes, he is. Well, Mr. LRC, and we got to go. Just before we do go, I'm yeah. just going to advertise one thing. Absolutely. Snyder and I are currently writing a song called School Bus to Hell. And my previous profile picture was, in fact, the single artwork for it. <laughs> nice. And he was going to call in now, but I think he's passed out. Yeah, this is a, this is a late one. Yes, it is. Yep. All right, probably You'll have to let us know how your song goes. Thank you very we much, will. sir. We'll post it. Thank you for having we'll talk me. Talk to you later. Good night and stay ballsy. Right. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Okay, we got five minutes. There's two people left. Should we just call them at the same time? Uh, you could try that. The smart guy. The other one. David Co David. The air raid lord. Oh wow. You will also be ca called. Almost, I can't even speak anymore. What? Who is this? We have you on, Mr. Smart Guy. The Air Raid Lord is coming on as well, because you guys are our best friends, right? Yes. Coming on together. We've known each other for years. We were childhood friends. Smart Guy, you're the last caller of the day. How do you feel about that? I feel honored. But then again, I am the budget call. I'm in the budget call again. I was in there with Doug the last time. Oh, I guess you're to call with him. You know why, Smart Guy? Because like, I feel like you're... Um, uh -huh. You're like you. You can. You can. You, you're mature enough to handle that. You know what I mean. Hello. I will cry many hours tonight. Hello. Welcome to the show. Oh wow! I did not. Uh, did not expect this. Wow! I wasn't. I was not watching the show. I probably shouldn't have said that. Now you might kick me out. Did you send me? A, uh, I got. A, I got an IM from. I thought you wanted to come on. I did. I sent that. No. Uh. Oh. Hold on. We're sorry. No. No, no, that's fine. It's completely fine. This is a pleasant surprise. It's been a while since it's been a while since I've. Uh, I thought you wanted to come on. I mean, you don't have to come on if you don't want to. I thought you did for some reason. No, 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 I'm, no, I'm here. No, I haven't talked to you guys in a while, so uh, no, well, it's a pleasant you? surprise. How are you? I am very good. In about an hour and a half, I will turn 19 years old. So I'm very oh, happy. Oh wow! About happy that. birthday, buddy! Happy day before your birthday. Happy birthday. Yes, that's, yes. That smart guy's talking to you. Oh. Yes, hello, sir. How are you? Doing good. How are you? I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good. <laughs> no, nah, I was. Uh, I was just. I was just editing a, a video I was going to put up on my birthday for my favorite video game of all time. Kind of telling people why I think it's great and all that stuff. You want to so. give us a spoiler? What is the game? Or you can't give that out. Oh, I can give it out. Uh, the game is uh, Jack Two. It came out during the early PlayStation Two era of gaming. Ah, the Jack and Daxter sequel. Yes, the Jack. And oh, Dad. I heard that was awesome. Yes, yeah, That's I enjoyed it. Jack grew up. He was grown up, and he was just badass in that one, right? Yes, yeah, he yeah. was very, very angry. He had dark powers. He was, yeah. he was a bit of psycho. He was all spiked up and everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I played that game when I used to live in New Jersey. It was, it was fun. I, I, I enjoyed playing with a whole smart bunch guy, of smart guy. Any opinion on Jack too, smart guy? No. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, thank you. <sighs> Smart guy, you want to you want to talk about something important to you that you want to speak about with us? Uh, someone very important to me, Ed Trot. I spoke to him. Yeah, I was going to use it as my as my topic, but uh, Mark stole it from me, mm. and uh, that was pretty nice. He already pretty much went into it. I spoke with Ed Trot on Thanksgiving. Actually, I gave him a call, and he brought up that he spoke with you, and you were very good. So yeah, I w I'm wondering when we're going to do that again. But, uh, you know. The Airy Lord's always... gone. Very... Uh, my plan Lord is hung up the phone. He hung up. My plan has ex he just didn't want to listen to me. He was he was just done. He's like, God, oh, I'm a smart I'm sorry. guy. <laughs> it's like OJ. OJ and Chris are uh, conspiring against me. Why would we conspire against you? Why would I conspire against you? I know your tricks, OJ. <laughs> All like I have <laughs> tricks. Oh, Smart guy, give me something for 2013 that you liked or thought was a good moment for anything. A uh, good moment was... Uh... Didn't OJ get punched that one time? <laughs> that was a pretty good day, yeah. Yeah, that did happen, yep. Alright, I'd have to say that. That was pretty nice. Hey, Red Lord, give me something. also. 
Hey, Raid Lord, something from 2013, looking back on that, was a, a great moment for you or, or something you watched or in your personal life or something that you want to share with us? Uh, uh, 2013 <laughs> probably is the most significant year of my life because I graduated from high school. Yeah, went to college, sense. my freshman year of college. I'm techn I'm right. I'm in right now, and um, I went to E3 in June. That was that was pretty fun. Wow! I got, I got to see the consoles. It was funny at E3, in the Xbox, uh, uh, the Xbox corner. They had there were two PlayStation guys just sitting there slouching against the wall. I'm like, what's going on here? And I went over to them and I said, Hey, uh, how's it going? They're like, Oh, it's going good. And I'm like, What are you guys doing here? And they're like, Well, oh, we're just you know checking out the Xbox and. Originally, I was just gonna like ask them, like you know, are you like here to spy on like Microsoft or something? So then I started like weaving it in. I was gonna like play it like cool. So I said to them, you know, if I had a console, if if I had five hundred dollars this holiday season, you know, I, I'm not sure what I would want to do. And they're like, well, you can just save up your money and buy both consoles, PS4 and Xbox One. But I'm like, well, I only have money for one console. And they're like, well, you could be buy a PS4 and you'd have enough money. And I'm like, oh, that's right. And there'd be no DRM policies, and then they jump right on it. They're like, "Yeah, see, you should come over to the Sony thing." So I cracked them out of their, oh. out of their, out of their uh, pose. They were sitting there trying to remain incognito, and I cracked them out of their, uh, their little pose. Found that they them had. out. I found them out. They were sitting. They were looking for Xbox's weakness, and uh, <laughs> it was it was pretty interesting. It was it was interesting. It was a good year for you. So it was a lot better than Smart Guy's uh, answer. I think this was this was a competition here. <laughs> Smart Guy did not have a good answer. Not have a good answer. My yeah. face didn't enjoy being smart. Smart guy, you gonna play some Marvel Heroes with me uh, coming soon, someday. Yeah, it's just, uh, someday. Yeah. Uh, no, we're gonna play. Like, what's uh, what's like? We're gonna take a break from the show. I'll be doing some streams, maybe some other stuff. We'll play some. Uh, what was that game? Dino something or Dino D Day that I gave yeah, we'll everyone. Play some, we'll play some Dino D Day. Uh, one day. Excellent. Okay. Is that OJ right? will not be joining us because he is always busy. Smart guy, are you mad at I OJ? can see it on his face. Are you mad at OJ, smart guy? I'm a bad person. Perfectly I know. fine. Perfectly <laughs> fine. It's okay. Are you mad that you got on the show at the end and, and had to share your, your time? Are you upset? I will be crying many hours into the There's night. There's something I can do to make this up to you. I'm crying already in my heart. <laughs> I'm depressed now because of you. All right. OJ, I mean, I'm smiling. All right, guys, we got to go. Happy holidays. I'll be talking to you both soon. Yes. See you, John. Have a good holiday season. You too, OJ. Thank you very and, much, uh, sir. And to the man with the dollar bill sign. All the to best. you as well. You guys are French, best friends yeah. forever now. Uh, yes. Wow. Wow. Yeah. We'll send us some greeting cards. All right. <laughs> Talk to you guys later. See Thank you, man. You. Have a good night. I thought he wanted to come out. I didn't even. Oh. Uh... He sent me. He sent me. He sent me a message saying hi, and I thought I just assumed he wanted to. Uh, to get in, I don't know. Pulling people in that weren't even watching the show. That's how we get viewers. We just call people that aren't even watching, and you you bring them in. That's what, that's how we do it. It's it's one of our it's one of our mysterious powers. I want to thank all you guys that uh, stayed with us tonight. We're about two and yeah. a half hours. A little Seriously, bit more than guys, that. it's really impressive. The viewer, the view count's pretty much uh, the same as it, as it always was throughout the night, which is pretty awesome. And uh, always good to talk to you guys, man. Everyone's got like. Good things happening. No one called in and was like, my life is terrible, you know? Mm. Everyone's got positive things going on. People got yeah. dreams and and good vibes. That's all we can And I feel like they kind of passed it off to me. I feel like I was kind of uh, the recipient <laughs> of all the good things happening to you. Maybe we'll rub yeah, off the on, repository on of well. everyone's dreams. Yeah, I think so. Okay, I can I steal. That. I steal your dreams. It's like energy. I take it and I... I give it to That's myself. That's creepy. <laughs> That's gonna do it. We'll be back next week. I wanna we're gonna have a hopefully a you know a big show next week. I wanna I want it to be really good. Um Oh, we'll make it amazing. Similar to the show one hundred or like last year's Christmas show or something like that. So that's the plan right now. Hopefully it'll it'll come to pass. I know OJ's got a crazy uh thing going on with the uh, Wiz Move and everything, but we're trying to we'll hopefully get together and uh, do the show together. That's the plan right now. It's gonna you are like, there's nothing left there. There's just a shell. I'm okay. I'm alive. There's a shell. There's a shell and there's nothing behind the eyes. It's just like... There's plenty there's behind black, the eyes. There's blackness. There's hair. All right, my friends. Let's shut this down.
All right, you guys. It has been lovely hanging out with you. Oh, I'm going to collapse, but thank you so much for joining us on this wonderful caller show because it's this time it's all about you. Very nice. Very it's nice indeed. You. Talk to you later, guys. Thank you very much. Good night. This Bye. has been John Rambo Presents the Show, the best and free and optional entertainment. Yeah.